Are you guys ready for another exciting episode of Rug Rind? Yes! That was louder than last time. <laughs> <laughs> we have more passion this time, damn it. Ah, yes, it's more passion. Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Narrative Decorations Rock Grind. We're joined by some very lovely and illustrious talents. Joining us here today, we're going to start off with Arendil. Howdy, howdy. My name is Arendil, and you may or may not know me as the writer who works with Alpha Buson projects, known as Ogre Popanang now. That's the name of our project, not Alpha. He's still Alpha. I'm still me. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Arendilio. Uh, nowhere else. Don't ask. I won't give you anything. And uh, today, and for presumably for the foreseeable future, unless I die, I will be playing as Baldrick Weathers, the alchemist. Uh, he blows shit up, and he has fully intended to do so. He's just a human. He's a guy. He is the. He is mostly normal. Mostly. 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 I said mostly. Kills you. <laughs> Next one. All right, and next up, we have Hulky Crow. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm hanging in there, you know, just living. Living about how much you can say nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm Hulky Crow. You may know me from doing a couple background voices. You probably don't know me from a couple background voices on previous projects like Text Speech, although I was Shrike on there. Uh, but also played Zedek on our previous project, Warhams. You can find me, of course, at Hulky Crow on Twitter. It's pretty much the only social I keep up to date with. Uh, I will be playing Rahua, our Kenrasu cleric. Uh, he is, of course, a Kenrasu, and he is a cleric. That's about all there is to say right now. Funny, funny tree man. And someone who's not funny tree man, Odo Roshi. Hello, uh, I'm Odo. You can find me on the internet, uh, at Odo Roshi Writer, mostly just on Twitter. Um, you may recognize me from your walls, where I live. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. Um, yeah, I uh, am a uh, friend of the Alpha Busa crew, uh, and I am going to be playing Vali, the Sylph Swashbuckler. So, and after that, we have Speaker D. How's it going? And here he come again. Turning victory into despair and victory into death. Hi, I'm Speaker D. You might know me as one of the lead writers for Alpha Busa and for Hunter the Parenting and if the Emperor had a text speech device. And I uh, voiced some guys in there like a Beck and the Emperor and I am Big D as well. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Super Snake Egg if you'd like. Today, I will be playing as Tannhauser, the revolutionary android who, with his magus specialization, is here to cast down the chains of oppression. And I'd like to thank everyone for your patience today, because I'm coming to you from Odoroshi's walls, as I will be moving soon. And so oh, yes. if you guys notice a Yay. lower mic quality on my end, um... It's because I got snowed in in Dallas. <laughs> so that's that, that going out. Dallas right. is down! Yeah. yeah, like, Texas is currently going through its freeze thing again. And if anybody knew, read up on the news, uh, as a preliminary warning, if we if the stream randomly disappears, um, Texas likes to just not have power for no reason. I can even look outside and go like, oh, well, there's no weather in this city, so what's going on? So... If we randomly disappear, like we'll be back online uh, as soon as we possibly can. Yeehaw, uh, everyone. The one who's going to be, yeah, but the one who's going <laughs> to, well, we made that electricity great, good, really good, you know. <laughs> we just put duct tape <laughs> on it, hope that worked out. God uh, damn it, Dutch. Uh, but the one who's going to be grinding us through the gears of rot grind is our lustrous game master, Thurston Hillman. Hello! Hi everybody, it's me. It's it's Thurston. On call GM on all the things. You can find me on the Twitter and, and the Twitch where I sometimes stream games and stuff. Um and yeah, I am 
just a person. I am a, um, I recently got a promotion at work. I'm now a senior digital developer at Paizo, yeah, where yeah, I yeah. work on digital products and all sorts of fun other projects I can't talk about. Uh, so I work on Pathfinder and I work on Starfinder and all those fun things. Um, and uh, I'll be I'll be GMing today and running our uh, our cast of, uh, of Shuckle Fucks through, uh, through Rock Grind in our second session after I totally didn't just kill them all in the first session, right? Right, right, right. You are terrible at lying. Yeah, we rolled up new characters, but like <laughs> yeah. all of these are just the identical twin of our previous characters. Yeah, you won't uh, yeah. the next time you meet Schmanhauser. But they're all gonna look <laughs> different, and somewhere like Skelebean is like that the one bead of sweat is going down her face as yeah, she has exactly. to do hard for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we go over to her, it's like Skelly, we have good news for you. Thurston has killed all of us. You uh, must yeah, now get, work. Get, get to making that <laughs> out, all right? Come on, chop, chop. We need some new portraits. Oh, how you doing? Thurston kills us every other week and forces Skelly to do more art. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> the, 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 like, the artist purgatory or something. That's <laughs> oh, fucked no. up. <laughs> Depletes Zorin's bank account in one day. Yeah. Absolutely. And in speaking to Plain Bakers, hi, I'm Zorin. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, welcome. I, I am your host, Zorin the Bear. Hope everyone's been having a good time. I used to work at Paizo, and then, then I left to go to the fields of Texas with no electricity. And I have been doing all the Twitch and online things, and I kind of help host the show here. And one of the things I wanted to go over is a couple of notes that we kind of got from last session for feedback that we got from everybody. So thank you everybody for submitting stuff on the feedback form and all that. We got a good peruse of it. I uh, got some things in and also read everybody's comments to be like, hey, what's wrong with the overlay? What's wrong with their stuff, etc." cetera. Um, so one of the things that people keep asking is like, what game are we playing and what uh, virtual tabletop are we using for it? We did explain it last episode, but just to reiterate, uh, we are playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition, and we're using Foundry Virtual Tabletop to play the game on. So that's just to kind of help inform people going like, hey, like that, this is the game we're using, and this is the uh, Virtual Tabletop that we're using. We, we like it a lot. Like, it's really, really good. It's a really solid uh, system, and it's also a really solid Virtual Tabletop. Uh, another thing we also like to point out that I think we lost an Electric Arc next time to where I was supposed to crit, because somebody crit failed or whatever. Uh, that's just to kind of... I'll let people know that as much as like I like I used to work at Paizo who made Pathfinder as much as you know there's some works on it and all that other stuff we're gonna mess some things up you know it's a typical RPG everybody messes up rules um so do understand that like with the excitement of things with all the information going on that we're gonna mess up some rules still feel free to correct us uh if we do get things wrong so that other people um who may be going through the comments and stuff going oh is that is that how the rule works we can always have some correct information out there, but I just want everybody to know and say it out there that uh, we try our best to be as accurate as we can, but we're human and we will mess up. So please forgive us if we do, if we do mess up. Uh, the other thing that people wanted to know is how the hell do these bars work? We tried our best to explain it last time, but it's a very new thing. Uh, there's a lovely uh, friend of ours named Sonosu who really helped put this stuff together. So what happens with these bars and the intention of them is that if people donate on stream using twitch using twitch's bit system um so say for example if somebody donated like i want to donate 100 bits what they can do is type up the character's name so let's say for example for my character someone's like i want to give oren uh, a little bit more into the pool for his hero points so that he can eventually get them so I'm going to donate 500 bits to the total, which is 2,500. And as that bar fills up in which I think he's now added an animation to where it actually shows progress as it, like it glows up as it fills up. Basically, as you donate, you can go hashtag the character's name and then that bar will increase. And as that bar finishes increasing, it'll automatically give us a hero point. And for hero points, that allows us to do uh, a plethora of things. Main one is that it allows us to uh, re-roll d20 results so say for example i roll a d20 hit somebody i rolled a five i go oh man i'm gonna spend a hero point to basically re-roll that i can re-roll it and i'm either gonna get get higher than a five or lower than a five so it's not a hundred percent on our side we can actually make our rolls worse and critical failures are a thing in this game to where it's just not gonna help us 
But yeah, but if you ever do see the system not working or you don't see the bars move or anything else like that, please tell us in chat and we'll uh, do our best to fix that. So I hope that explains it. Please tell me if I need to um, re-explain any of that. So basically, overall, if you want to you want to send bits towards somebody to help them, you know, contribute to the pool to get a hero point, you do hashtag their name as you're doing the bits. So be sure you spell it correctly, which hopefully with me increasing the size of the names, you can see them fine. Oh, and by the way, the tokens do carry over session to session. So I think Baldrick used two, and I think Valley still has one, Rahua has one. So they had that from last session, and the progress should save uh, over time. Oh God, here they come. Oh no. Oh no, oh <laughs> we, Lord, we oh Lord, we, they hero pointing. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate the support. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is somebody asked, like, what's the other thing that they do? Somebody mentioned about narrative decorations, hence the namesake of her group, narrative decoration. Um, if we can spend two of her hero points to do a narrative decoration, if people remember our last show, Warhams, uh, narrative decoration was a really common mechanic in that. Basically, we would spend a die and go, I want to narratively, de narratively declare something. And basically, it's us uh, weaving the story in a certain way that we want to to kind of help push it in interesting ways and it's pretty much like a way for us to help do some cool things so it's it's not as grounded as it is of an explanation but it pretty much allows us to manipulate the story in a way not so drastically to where we're going to summon dragons or something but it helps kind of like oh there was a rope in the corner that we needed or there's a thing over there something that goes within the wheelhouse that uh thurston's going to allow us to do because we don't want to be like, oh, Thurston, uh, we're about to starve and everything. There's a car full of food around the corner. We're not going to go that powerful with it. Hatsune Minerial appears. <sighs> no, oh, we can't it's, it's just... <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> oh, we have to bribe Thurston. Mm -hmm. like so this. that's yeah. So that's basically how they were. They allow us to do some fun role play things. So that's what their intentions for. And with that, I also want to say thank you, everybody, for supporting us so far on YouTube. I think uh, you guys really helped out with the YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash narrative declaration on the Twitch and on the Patreon and everything. We've recently have been releasing more PDFs. We also released the bestiary of the first episode on there. So we hope everybody uh, really appreciated the bestiary, the handout cards, tokens, everything else that we released there. Like we've been really busting our uh, butts off to get you all that content also on the patreon so thank you for your support thank you for telling people about us thank you for sharing the stream with everybody you guys have been absolutely amazing so with that i think my spiel is done thurston yeah what adventure do you have for us today well in our last session our intrepid band of destined chuckle fucks were incarcerated in a jail in the pond's pilaster for a variety of charges Facing a long sentence, the group agreed to work together to take the option of trial by combat to battle a group of tyrants' guild aspirants. Instead, they ended up fighting some corralled wildlife from the nearby swamps, including some reptiles and a very big and very angry bear, which Tannhauser uh, managed to uh, do a lot of damage to. Very good job, very good job. After a hard-fought battle, the party exited the arena and were quickly approached by a member of the Architects Guild, who offered them upfront payment for investigation of one of the hanging apartments that leans off the sinkhole in the district of the Pons Palastair, basically looking to evict any squatters and make sure there's like nothing else in in the home before it would be demolished pieces agreed to this um as they all need funds and they spent a bit of time at baldrick's home eventually they made their way to the apartment where they met the blacksmith warrior crunch now due to his weight and heavy armor crunch was weary of entering the apartment so our heroes went in instead to continue their mission there they found a group of uh, squatting ruffians led by one prince du shelf uh who quickly departed the area after volley uh conversed with them uh the pcs continued their investigation and eventually uncovered several hats and sets of headwear but then were set upon by helmet crabs which were crabs that live in like helmets and headwear and names on the tip. Uh, they managed to defuse the situation with the helmet crabs, and they were about to depart when a fire broke out on the, on the base of the hanging apartment they were in. Baldrick attempted to quench it with quick alchemy uh, using a smokestick, but the fire grew too rapidly, and the building's support collapsed, sending the party hurtling down into the abyss. Now, 
where we begin today is not in the abyss, not following up. Instead, we cut to the front of the, the apartment, and we cut to the, the large warrior crunch of Legibet, who our, our players had, had spent some time with, who was doing a doing a dutiful patrol outside the front of the apartment, uh, looking around, sort of hefting up his shield. And, and as Crunch is patrolling around, his attention is, is drawn by the sounds of, of shouting and, and weapons clashing as we, we realize that he's hearing the sounds of our party battling against the crabs. Um, Shortly after, as he takes note of this and kind of has trepidation of, of going into the apartment due to his weight once again, he, he sees smoke billowing up, uh, particularly alchemical smoke. So with that, Crunch rushes his way, uh, not through the apartment, but uh, but around the edge of the sinkhole, going around some of the, the rocks and debris that, that split up the area. And as he as he emerges from from between the rocks, uh, in the overlook down on the the hanging apartment where our, our characters ended last session, uh, he sees something at the same overlook looking down. And what what we see as the audience is this amalgamated figure of elemental energies, like roiling water, blazing fire, um, kind of like craggy rocks tumbling over one another and gusting air throughout this whole thing. It has this almost feline appearance in its nature as it turns uh, towards Crunch, who raises up his hammer at this creature. What are you doing here? And and as he points the hammer, we, we, we hear in the background behind these two, like the cracking of timbers and this elemental amalgamate looks at Crunch, but then looks down, and as it looks back down, we cut to the the supports on the apartment breaking, and the apartment falling down. And we can tell that the Baldric's uh, quick thinking with the smoke stick, well, not enough to save uh, the party from this collapse, was just enough to buy them time um, for Baldric to see this this amalgam elemental creature at the edge of the sinkhole staring down at them. And the last thing, Baldric, that you see as you and your fellow party mates tumble down in, into the abyss is Crunch rushing towards this elemental, his, his hammer raised, his shield outstretched. But then, then you fall into darkness along with oh, all of your actions. And then, as all of you have fallen and unconsciousness takes you, you wake up. And you wake up to a feeling of, of weightlessness tugging on you. And then the the telltale feeling of, of water lapping against your bodies. And you find yourselves waking up in a pool. A pool of bluish liquid, uh, clear water that sort of laps in a, in a slightly circular form. It looks like it's it's carved out, and you're in a chamber of stone now, uh, with six support pillars that that rise up to a ceiling. The ceiling is, is actually quite a ways up. You guess it's about a hundred feet up, and where you are in this pool, you can see that there is a cracked hole in the ceiling from which you must have fallen through into this area. Awfully and convenient. each of you wakes up. Sorry? It's awfully convenient that we seem to land in the one clean pool and outset. Uh, hey, Thurston. Yep. Mind if I, uh, check the water is clear via alchemy? Absolutely. To, yeah, to assert you that statement. Yeah, yeah, give me a crafting check. <laughs> yeah. Orin would also like to, um, as he's waking up, kind of <laughs> inspect the water to make sure. Knowing, knowing his time in the city, he's like, mm. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, Baldrick, give me uh, crafting. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll give you give a me giant nature. 26. Oh, wow. A, a 26, heck yeah, with an 18 on the dice. Nice. All right. Um, and if you want to give me a nature check, Orin, uh, as you're sort of like 
like inspecting it. And as you're doing this, um, what I'd like to, to do oh, also is total like, of 11. 11, okay. Uh, I'd like to explain the room. So again, we have these six pillars. They go up about 100 feet to a ceiling. Um, there are two slab stone doors that look as though they have like pull handholds to both the north and the south. And then there's a set of stairs that ascends to a very large 10 foot wide slab of stone that looks like it can be pulled on, on both directions. Uh, the stairs ascend about 15 feet up as, as they rise in this chamber. Uh, now, Oren, you're able to tell with a with a eleven that this is this is clean water. Um, Baldric, you're able to tell that not only is it clean, it's remarkably pure water. In fact, probably some of the purest you've seen in your lifetime. And also, you you would note at this point that all of your wounds that you like any of you had suffered during your prior combat have all been restored. And in fact, you sort of look around Baldrick as part of this and see that the, possibly the water or some something related to it has restored the wounds on all of you. And like your allies all look far, far better than they did. Hmm. This is a surprisingly clear font of water. Maybe want to step out. It's very clear. Like elemental purity clear I'm not quite sure what that means but it sounds like bad news bears it means get out of the climb water out. before you piss yeah. off whatever elementals hanging around here <sighs> Volley as you get out can you give me a perception check please sure you step up the stones and I'd like to point out as well the light in this room is coming from a sea what the hell where'd Tannhauser go I don't <laughs> know what the heck is going on with Tannhauser He's back. He's just teleporting yeah. around. I'm, I'm, I, I, uh, whoa, I can't see anything. I'm seeing like, I guess I'm seeing a part of the map that is. Um... Sorry, I had to. If you're having some... issues, make sure you have hardware acceleration on. There we go. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, I will give you a perception roll. Uh, am I taking any penalties for nope. low light? No. Nope. Okay. Like, in fact, like what I, what I was um, just describing there is um, you can see that there's there are magical or sorry, clearly like magical torches that are uh, in sconces at various levels on the pillar all the way up to the ceiling. They're emitting like a almost white blue flame. Uh, and you can tell that these are magical in nature. I mean, no one's coming in and replacing them. So they're giving the, the entire chamber like is this um very mellow, uh, muted, gray-blue light. Uh, with your perception check, uh, you can tell that there's a few objects that seem to have fallen um, and landed in here with you. First of all, uh, you notice that there is a cauldron, like a metal cauldron that is on its side, um, just, just between two of the pillars to the south. Um, you also spot that there are several gold coins that have, like, tumbled through uh, the ceiling with you. And there is also, um, sadly, the corpses of two crabs, which appear to have broken their backs on the fall, having not landed in the pool, but instead landed on the, the hard stone. Um, one of which, the corpse is right beside a very large hat. Uh, the same hat that you had put on Rahua prior to uh, falling down. No. Look down, give him a little salute. Good night, brave soldier. Good night. What the hell Here, Rahua from back in the pool. Is everybody okay? Where, where's Jeremy? Oh, no. Orn's like, or, or like, uh, like, we, we, we better <laughs> we better hide this real quick. And like, Orn finds like some rocks. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and his wing kind of comes over, starts scooping it near a pile of rocks. It's like, uh, we, nothing, man. Uh, we took Jeremy up north. Uh, he he's on a farm now. He's a farm yeah, crab. yeah, in the crab farm. What the hell are you guys talking about? Uh, it's, it's a crab farm, Bosric. Is that farm worker owned? Oh yes, yes, right. it's a worker uh, co-op. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's union. <laughs> Oh, I do hope Jeremy uh, is okay. I'm going to move over to the cauldron. First, I'm going to scoop up a couple of these gold coins, kind of gnaw on them, see if they're real. Yeah, they are. They are. I've, I've added them the into um, the, the inventory you have, which I have dubbed the People's Loot. Ah, the People's Loot. Um, in, in honor of Tannhauser. Um, the People's Loot uh, includes the coins which you've scooped up, which is approximately 30 extra gold coins, in addition to the eight you found previously. 
So, so this is essentially like your party fund. Uh, so you have 38 gold coins, which you can distribute how you want. And then I've got the, the two items in there, which is the unusual uh, headwear and the unusual uh, cauldron object. All right. Uh, Baldrick, you have any use for a cauldron? Uh, not, well, let me take a look. He's going to come over and take a look at the, the cauldron of purport. How big is this thing? Um, so it's like, it's, it's, it's got a good size to it. Um, let's see. Would it, would it be bigger than one I have at home? Um, it looks like it's, it's, it's definitely more portable, uh, than like one you would have at home. It looks like something you could <laughs> theoretically, um, you know, move about with. Uh, is it, is it like a hand one or is it one that I would hang off the back of my back? Uh, like you could bring it with you. It'd, it'd be pretty heavy. Let me uh, let me find the exact weight for you, so you kind of know what to which which to uh, to expect weight wise. Uh, yeah, because the only reason I could think of that is like you know potion concoction on the go, which would be not terribly yeah. useful because I can just kind of do that already. But so if it's got a bonus, that'd be nice. To give you an idea, it's got a carried bulk of four, and so it's it's heavy. It's 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 a heavy type thing, uh, but like. It looks to have good quality. It's um, it's got like sturdy crow, like iron crow's feet on it. Uh huh. Um, it looks like a, it also looks like it has some like impressive quality. Like it looks like it's not that scuffed up or anything, even from the fall. Uh, I'm gonna put that by the stairs for now. Can we get like a little marker over there? Because I'm not carrying that thing with me if we're exploring. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. I can I can put a little marker there. Absolutely. Uh, is anyone else wanting to like look at these objects? Um. Yeah, Orin would like to come over and kind of look at them only in a nature like perspective. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know what, Orin? Uh, how about you give me a nature check on that uh, on that their cauldron? Excellent. Yeah. It's just a cauldron. That, I mean, cauldrons can mean many things. You know, cauldron, like, like, is it a specific cauldron? Kind of, you know, is it cast iron in this sort of way? Is it has a wooden lining and enchanted, enchanted way? It could be a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, but it's a cauldron. Yeah. It, it, it is a cauldron. So as you're, like, looking at this, uh, this tumbled over cauldron, uh, what did you get on nature check? I got, a, I got an 18 total. 18 total. <laughs> okay, so that is enough for you to identify this magical item. <gasps> Righteous. It is a walking cauldron. <gasps> uh, and it's essentially like a, an iron cauldron uh, that has a land speed of 25 feet that you can use to like craft potions, oils, and other liquids. Um... And as like a single action, uh, you can command the cauldron to follow you or stay in place. And if the cauldron follows you, it does its best to remain within 30 feet of you. Um, but like you can't direct it in combat or anything. Basically, it just like follows you around ponderously. And um, it has it can carry up to two bulk worth of ingredients. Horn gets inside it. Um, I mean, sure. Like, there's nothing in it right now, so you can like forward. Uh, it it does not move with you in it. It looks like it, it mm. only can contain those ingredients. Maybe get out of the cauldron that I'm going to be using. Are you I'm trying to, to be ride it. Ride it. Kid, what? kid, get out of my damn cauldron. I'm not. I, <laughs> okay. Strix, okay, sir. Strix claws do not have magical alchemical ingredients, unless you wish to figure that out. Baldrick will okay, pull out I, his I'm knife. sorry, sir. Arn gets yeah. out of the pot. Yeah. Are we taking turns riding around in this thing? No. no. I don't think it can carry us. I don't, I don't think it's big enough. Tragically, the powers of that be have not legalized this pot. Hmm. All right. <sighs> <laughs> I still have the option of kicking him from the Discord server. I still have that ability. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room here. Does anybody know where the hell this is? Uh, down and in a pit. So presumably one of the many, many buried structures down in the uh, the sinkhole. 
So Well, yes, but it I mean nobody else is a little weirded out by the fact that there's a pool of clean water and outset this far down. I am kind of the lights are clearly on. I am And I'm surprised we survived. Sorry, Tenhauser, go ahead. No, you just said what I was going to say, but I appreciate the support. Well, yeah, man, fr- anytime. Revolution. Pump it. He, like, extends yeah. the fist out. Yeah, he uh, meets the fist, and you can't tell if he's being sincere or is actually angry. <laughs> <laughs> Identical. It'd be impossible to tell. Hey, Thurston. Who yes. also raises his fist. Since uh, Baldric <laughs> is a resident of Outset, would I have to roll to know something specific about Outset? Uh, well, it would, depends. Would, like, I, what do you what do you want to? I, I assume Baldric knows why there would be a pure, you know, amount of water in this particular zone given wanna, what he knows of the city. I want right? to interrupt because I don't want to leave Rahua hanging. I also fist bump Rahua. That's really important. <laughs> of course. Right? Oh, we're doing this. We're really doing this. Um, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> uh, let me, uh, let me, let me see here. What do you got? Um, society? Yeah, give me, give me a society check. Sure. About to say, because I believe we discussed this in one of our many, uh, test sessions. Yes, yes, give me, give me society. Also, check out this cool dice. Ooh, that's horrifying. It needs um, to be orange. Yeah, it needs to be 18. Oh, you got an 18. We forgot to have that talk during it. Oh, well. Um, so, okay, I'll so, just say it out loud. Please color your dice to your colors of the overlay. <laughs> so people can see <laughs> whose dice are who. That. Well, I want to teach people. <laughs> I'm teaching you one foundry. Did yeah, that's right. So nice. You go to the top right. You go to uh, your settings. The configure wanted, settings. I wanted, settings. Of, I wanted green because of settings. I wanted green because of alchemy, you poop. <laughs> it's like, people gotta know who's who because if you do green they get confused they can't tell about a green from another green alright so you go to the module settings and my dice settings and it gives you a whole <laughs> smorgasbord of customization Oh God. under dice so nice you have to scroll down to dice so nice there you go Yeah. All mine are yeah. already blue there you go yeah, so if you already got it you're good yeah, oh. mine are black and red for obvious reasons um yeah. Okay, so Baldrick, with with that eighteen, as as you're all changing your dice up uh, to horrible color combinations, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Baldrick, uh, with an eighteen, you would know that like a structure like this off of the sinkhole, if you fell any good amount, which you clearly remember falling a good amount at least, um, would be part of Outset's uh, buried city. And so, Outset as a city constantly builds upwards vertically because there is a like defined limit based on the the old accords with the old powers who gave the original settlers that land. Um, so, prior generations of the city are constantly pushed into the swamplands down and down. So there's you know thousands of years worth of prior generations stacked on top of each other so the buried city contains all sorts of like di- different leaderships different like regimes that once ruled outset um as far as like having a pure source of water there could be a hundred different explanations as to why this could be you know a temple this could be a um like reservoir that was used by some previous government sometimes things like sometimes areas were just like built over and people didn't even know what they were building over or sealing up well to put it bluntly everybody this could be a temple a water reservoir an elemental containment chamber or anything because as you know well, actually, no, no, you don't. As I know, Outset likes to build over old things without necessarily giving it its due recourse. So, we could be anywhere. Interesting. I think well, the water is very, very nice. It yes. is nice. We'll take what we can get. I mean, I feel at home here. The The torch sconces are blue, the water's blue, I'm blue. It's It works out. On that note, can I bottle up some of this clean water? That's yeah, kind of a hard thing to come by up top. Yeah, absolutely. You can, like, f- fill a vial. Mr. Thurston Hillman. Mr. Tan Hauser. Yes. I. Um, I happen to be an arcanist of minor repute. Mm-hmm. Um, given the different possibilities that this could be potentially a, a den of great elemental power or something along those lines, could I get an arcana, arcana check to maybe see if I can ascertain what exactly it could be? Or occultism, I also have that. 
Um, you know what? Arcana, Arcana's fine. Um, yeah, you can give me an Arcana check here. All right. Let's see what I know. Yeah. Not a whole lot. Ten Hauser with the twelve on the skill check. Okay. Okay. So um, that's enough for you to uh, to know that, like. <sighs> Any any kind of thing relating to elemental energy is probably going to be more nature or religion. This doesn't appear to be like an arcane font. The only thing you could tell is like you've seen the the, the sort of magic that's going on on the torches here. Do you have detect magic, by the way? I do. Uh, you would also tell as I'm assuming you're like casting detect magic and looking around. I will um, happily th- cast detect magic. The hat is radiating a magical aura. The hat that was on Rahua's head prior and has made it down here. I'm... Rahua. Yes? Your hat radiates power. Let me see it. Rahua looks around because he's no longer wearing the hat because it was on the crab it's that on the no ground. longer be found. <laughs> Yeah, it's on the ground by the the dead crabs. I will uh I will approach the dead crabs. Comrades, your sacrifice was not in vain. Uh, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, They're on a fire, dead hauser. Oh no. Who will kneel Get down to it. the crab corpses? Uh no, no these are unrelated crabs. I would like to make a nature check to see if Rahua recognizes the crab that he had lost. Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, while you're doing death. Oh god, while you're doing that, fucking hell, Tanhauser, can you also give me an arcane arcane check for uh for the, the hat? Oh god. Yes, hey, yes, I will. While this is happening, can I do something useful? <laughs> oh, yeah, what would you like to do? Reaping is can useful, I, fuck you. Can I please explore the surroundings to try and find any denomination of the room we are in? Okay, okay, so a few things all happen at once here. Rahua, these could be any crabs. They aren't necessarily Jeremy. With that 11 you've got, I mean, these could just be other... In fact, these could be like helmet crab corpses that fell from your combat. It's not necessarily Jeremy. I um, may have been born yesterday. <laughs> <but> <laughs> would I recognize the hat that was on them as the one that was on Jeremy? Um, yes, yes, you would. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, however, as as you're like like making this horrific realization, um, Tannhauser is making a practical <laughs> realization. <laughs> um, Tannhauser, you uh, are able to identify the hat as a hat of disguise. It's a fine looking hat um, that you can activate uh, like basically um, with a minute uh, and you can cast basically a loosery disguise, the spell on yourself. Um, oh. and, and then like after that, the you can like magically alter the hat to appear as a comb, a ribbon, a helm, whatever you'd like. Um, okay, so Baldrick. Jesus, uh, 25. 25. Let's go. Okay, so what you're able to tell is that the doors to the north and the south are sealed. However, the door, uh, the double doors to the east are slightly ajar, um, looking like they'd be pretty easy to open. Uh, you're able to tell that there's like some smashed like wood debris up top on the, the hole about 100 feet up from the pool, probably where like the, the remains house. of the apartment yeah, fell on to um you also tell that like by the by the like the 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 crab corpses like clearly one of the crabs had attempted to crawl away a bit and then just gave up and fell there um and that's 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 like your your um your sherlock-esque analysis of the situation there's no signs no like denoting like rune carvings no anything that would indicate no uh this room is like is fairly is fairly devoid of any like pertinent markings it looks very spartan (laughs) there might be a significance to it but that would be more like a religion check um crap Mm -hmm. the one thing i know i got a one in it i'm not doing that all right (laughs) uh while they're like mourning the crab and inspecting the hat i'm gonna just like look up at this yeah. double the, the stairs I, a little bit, I guess. Okay. As yeah, he's uh, doing that, or I'd like yeah. to call Valley over. Like, hey, hey, Valley. Uh-huh. What's up, Could my fine feather friend? 
Could you help me test something? I'm sure. So can I can I uh, can I see your sword and or knife? All right, don't drop it. I just hand him the rapier. Okay, thanks. I cut the shit out of my hand. Orin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, mostly my wooden hand, which is my right hand, because yeah. uh, I probably wouldn't feel as much pain. <laughs> mostly but there's always, my there's obviously damage. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. You know, oh. a little bit still there. And he Why? will dip his hand into the water. Okay. It feels cool, uh, like against your against your skin. Um, however, you will still take the one point of damage from cutting yourself, and it will not be healed by the water. And Gorn's like, "Well, that confirms that. Thank you, thank you, Vali." Uh oh, God! All right, I think I see what you're doing. Yeah, hmm. it, it felt obviously we fell from a great height, and honestly, something kind of helped us, you know, get down here. Or else we all be dead. Well, it's gonna yeah. have some kind of properties. Here, here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out one of my flasks and unscrew the top, yep. uh, kind of eyeing the inside. Is there any rum left? Um, uh, you know what? Uh, I will let you determine if there's some. Rum. Probably like a small amount. You know, a small amount that you could probably just throw back right now if you need to. Oh, but not to say you. Have- it's your character, you decide how much <laughs> money. Yeah. We're about to have another emergency. All right, I'll knock back the rest of it. Uh, and then I'm going to stick the bottle inside. Okay. And kind of scoop up some of the water. Maybe we should try drinking a bit. Uh, was he, he's overhearing this as he's like not facing them and he turns a little bit. I'm going to inspect it when I get back home, whenever that'll be. I'm not going to drink it right now. I'm going to inspect it with my stomach and I'm going to take a sip. Enjoy your parasite. Okay. I'll, uh, uh, it, I'll... it tastes like very crystal clear great water volley. Oh. Uh, Tannhauser, I mean, you were... You're missing out. Uh, I'll do the same. Why not? Yeah. He wants sure. to, everyone, everyone take a sippy from the pool. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to replace my dirty rock grind water with yeah. uh, clear, <laughs> clear magic water. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Maybe I go like through all of my rations <laughs> in a place. <laughs> the, chat, the chat's killing me. It's Lacroix. It's Lacroix. It's Lacroix. Oh, yes. Yes. Lacroix tastes. Lacroix, ta- Lacroix tastes like fucking TV static. I hate that shit. TV <laughs> static. Oh, oh, it's so disgusting. It hurt. It physically hurts me. Uh, Baldrick, you were going towards the door. You said. I'm going towards the stairs leading up because okay, I want to yeah, yeah. see what the, what the deal is with them and how far up they go. Okay, they they're basically 15 feet up to a door that like ends right at the border of the light because of how the wall curves in. May I push the door open? Yeah. Uh, so as you like like pull on one of the two handles, it, as soon as you touch and begin to pull, there's like a rumbling as both of the doors swing wide open, boom, to reveal a like massively large room uh, ahead of you. Um, there are rows of um, of pillars that go up again, about a hundred feet to the ceiling here. Um, each of the pillars in this room are engraved with basically four repeating patterns of symbols uh, that, that sort of spiral up and around. Uh, in the, the center of the room, there is a depression about five feet down with stairs that lead into it. The depression's about 20 feet by 20 feet, and it has, like, a large basin in the center of it. Um, Now, there's, to the south, you're seeing, like, roots have burst through the stone walls here. Uh, The cobblestone floor is sort of, like, crawling over them, knocking up cobblestones. In a few places, like, some of the pillars have collapsed or been broken, uh, mostly to the north. Uh, And you're seeing, like, these roots have also broken through in the ceiling, kind of giving the ceiling like this appearance of of stone but then cracked masonry and then like roots coming through um and what as you walk in you can see that the water in this room is decidedly more um outset in nature in that it is like almost a dark black barest hint of blue to it um and that the the root above seems to like very very uh slowly be dripping like a tiny drop of of black fluid down into the basin uh i'm gonna i'm gonna ask again can i throw an alchemy at that because i have a distinct feeling i know what that is 
Um, yeah, you can absolutely. You're like, I mean, you're a bit far away, so like you'll take a penalty without being close to it. But sure. What? How much of a penalty? Oh, uh, like I'd, I'm going to probably impart like you aren't like getting close up to it. So it's, you know, let's see here. Like the wa- the water itself is like 40 feet away from you. So like you see blackish water. I'll probably give you a minus four to that. Minus four. You know yeah. what? I'll take that just because yeah. I have the distinct feeling I don't want to get near that. Yeah. Okay. Circumstance penalty. Yeah. Okay. Ah, almost eighteen. It was an eight. It, help like anyway. some kind of messed up water. You you are not sure with an eight what exactly this is. Being cautious, Baldric will retreat away for a moment. Okay. I will check that out later. What What'd you find, it? Baldric? Uh, there's a pool in there with some very dark water and something dripping into it, which means it could be anything. But if it's what I'm thinking it is, we don't want to go in there just yet. Did and you throw shit at it? On that note, he will slam the door shut. Oh. Uh, the door does not slam shut. Oh, damn you. <laughs> it, like, it, it, it basically, the, the, the doors opened wide and then went into the wall recesses. Yeah, let's not go in there for now because that, my friends, could be rot. And I'm not sure about you, but I have no intention of anyone getting it because if you get it, I'm burning you. Uh, well, that's fair. So... We'll leave that thing for now. We got two other doors to check out. Are you guys still... Why are you all drinking the water? It's take a sip. It's good. I'm... It seems pretty pure. Yeah, that's why I'm going to inspect it to make sure it is. Later. Suit yourself. Can... I'm feeling more hydrated than ever. Uh... We're not just still kneeling here with the fucking crab corpses. <laughs> We're all just drinking water and having a good time. Poor boy. But it's okay. Poor baby. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to Rahua and just put a hand on his shoulder. I'm sure they loved you very much. Their feelings pet, are pet. ultimately Well, their own secrets. It wasn't their time, but it's okay. So to on the earth they have come, so too they shall return. Rahu will just reach his hands down and just cover them in a little mess of moss and vines and stand uh, back oh. up. Look, Kanrasu, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this. Rahu, do our old Kanrasu do this? You may you met these things maybe ten minutes ago, and they were trying to pinch you to death. Do you did you seriously form that much of an attachment to them in ten minutes? He'll think for a minute. No, no, not really. Hmm. All right. Shall we? Then? I did. <laughs> oh, Tiani. For the revolution. It's okay, uh, Tiani. Let it out, buddy. Right. All right, I will, and I'll just cast flame touch on the wall. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, presumably That's causing a fire. That will that will be one level one spell down. <laughs> no, that's a hand trip. <laughs> Damn it! Right. Okay. Shall we Tiny take Houser cries. Does he have windshield wipers on his glasses? No. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny. So draw it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dictating to people. Good. All right, we got two doors to look at. Uh, Baldrick's probably gonna. Again, try to ward people as hard as he can away from the giant mysteriously opening double doors with the quite obviously not good water in the middle of them, mm-hmm. and maybe direct them to one or the other door. Probably the northern one, because it always starts north. Yeah, okay. Divide and conquer, we might as well open both. I would rather open one, in case one of them could be holding a load-bearing avalanche behind it. Well, I don't think I'd avalanches say... occur this far down. Especially in the middle of... I don't know what seas we're in, but it's not now. Avalanche of rubble, I mean. Oh. Well, you should be more balls. specific about that. Whatever we do it. here, we can't just stand around drinking water. We have right. revenge to obtain. Just open the door. I'm pushing it open. Oh, is it locked? It, it does not appear to budge as you attempt to uh, to use the handholds on it. Is it uh. is it because it is locked or because it is stuck? 
Um, you could give me a thievery check if you got that. I got plus eight to that. Yeah, you yeah. do that. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> do it up. And dare I say it, your horror. Actually, no, Yarhar. I'll do it too because I got a plus six. Uh, that is like a dirty assist. twenty. Yeah, okay. nineteen twenty. Uh, yeah, so you're able to assist. Um, you could tell that this is, um, the, like, there's some kind of magical impediment on this that is preventing it. Um, Volley, you could probably, like, fight with this. It might take a few attempts, but you could probably try to. But if you mess it up, you might, like, perma-lock it. Oh. Well, there's a strong possibility that this thing locks for good, but, um, I'm willing to give it a shot. Go for it. I don't think we got any other options with this door. You can do it. I believe. All right. Well, your belief gives me strength, Laura. Can I Can I assist with my own? Yeah, absolutely. It's a DC 15, so. So let me go Or 20. Roll. 20. Actually, 15 in this case, yeah. So I will roll, hopefully getting over a 15. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, there you uh, go. Yeah, so sure you will, did with a 20. You crit, nice. So, so you will give a good bonus there. Yeah. Uh, and so you will. You will damn, if only I'd rolled that. I know. Oh, shit. Mastery. Um, and then Volley. Uh, I forget, I forget I've spec Aldrick to be a, a stealthy character. Yeah. Stealth bros. Yeah. Volley, you wanted to give me that thievery because you were being primary there. So. Oh, yes. What is my uh, bonus? Uh, just just straight uh, oh, from uh, from Baldrick. Um, Baldrick. Yeah. Let me quadruple check. I think on a credits, give yourself plus two. And if it's plus four. Uh, yeah, then well. I think it's plus two. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to spend um, a hero point on that. I've got two to burn. Okay, yeah. I yeah, mean, you could, you could roll a one. That's fine. You could like roll you, a you, one and you lock. Can stop you, can, no. <laughs> you could probably only do better. Yeah. If you jinx it, I'm going to beat your ass. It totally won't Here be it a comes. two. Here it comes. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there you go. 15. Oh, wait. Oh, the plus two didn't go through. So, so that's that should a 25. be a twenty-five. Yeah, that's enough for you to um to like pop it open. And you can see it uh like immediately leads into about fifteen feet of stone hall leading forward and then into complete darkness. Alright, yeah, just kind of pull back with my like hair clip or whatever and do a bow toward everyone. Ta -da. Nice. Wow. Nice, nice job on the uh, the third thank tumbler you. there. That one looked tricky. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. I could have gone so wrong, but you did it so not wrong. Good job. Thank yeah, you, Rahua. Your your faith is incredibly great for my self confidence. Anyway, let's go. Uh, anyone got a torch? It's dark. I do. I turned to see Orin. Would you like Hi. to use it? I mean, no, no. Can you see in the dark? He he, show, he points forward to the dark hallway. Wait, you see a lamp and yellow glow walls. emanating from behind you. Oh yeah, that's right. You can do that, can't you? Yeah, I would like to cast light as a cantrip. Oh. As my eye just starts glowing. Okay, so just like on yourself. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So here, I'll I'll light you up. Right ahead. Oh wow. My vision is augmented. <sighs> and you can see that there is a set of stairs that, that goes down. And they seem mm. to go down for quite some ways. All right. Well, we could go right down the stairs. We could check the other door or we could go drink the rock pool and die. What's uh, what are our options here, fellas? That last one what sounds are the like a stupid idea. The rock pool? Don't. Nothing. Do not touch the rot. Do not consider the rot. OK, mm. we'll go right. down the hallway. Let's All check right. the other door first in case it's just a room. In fact, you guys stay here. I'll get that door. All right. I will just I go mean, up to the But top Baldrick. Door. Yeah. What if danger is over there? We might need to stick together. Well, that's what I mean. You guys aren't going downstairs. I'm just opening this door. We're just across well, the room. Well, I'll, I'll come really with lie. you just in case. I'm going to like grab the back of his chest piece. <sighs> Rahua's chest piece or mine? <laughs> He's walking forward. Holding Part Rahua of me still. wants to test how strong and ignorant Rahua actually is here. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> please, Rahua. Please. All right, Baldrick. Um, yeah, you get to the door. This one, again, has one of those, like, pull. It's like, it's it's, a, it's old stone, but it has, like, a handhold for pulling it open. 
Okay, can I pull it or is it also locked? Uh, you can try to open it. That's just open. Yeah. It it, uh, it immediately opens up into about five feet ahead, and then further up beyond that, you see the entire hall here has collapsed. All um, right. Stone has, like, fallen down, blocking off the entire access point from here. Question answered. And then he will slam the door. Yeah. What'd you find? A brick wall. Oh, my favorite. You know, I had someone do that to me once. What, wall you in? Were you going down to the basement to see their vintage? Actually, yes. It didn't oh. work out for him. I'm sorry, it happens to the best of us. No, oh, it, it, it turned out worse for oh, him. I had only trick. recently learned how to make arsenic. Ah. All right, Listen, well. you want to go downstairs, I guess? Yes. Yeah, we'll go downstairs. Uh, well, I'll take point yeah. with Rahua since he's our torch. As, uh, as you guys are doing that, Orange can be like, yeah, uh, I'll catch up here in a moment. Uh, hold on. Where are you going? No, nowhere. Just, I'll just be right by this door real quick. So, Thurston. Mm-hmm. Is there any <laughs> nature or anything? Isn't there like a, like a branch or like a, or like, like, you know, trunk of trees or something like that? Not in this room. Okay. I know what you're going for, but it's not in this room. Okay. It's like, oh man, okay, never mind. It's like barely anything living in here. I mean, there, wait, no, there were roots in the other room, but I would really rather avoid getting in there. There is right, us. Down the, go ahead. Down, down the stairs we go. All right. Into the deep dark. Okay. Don't get lost. Uh, yeah, so so you um you begin making your way down the stairs. It's like it's about maybe eighty feet down worth of stairs, long stairway. Uh, eventually, eventually, it takes you to to another chamber, a, a square chamber which has two um like square braziers which are burning with like a blue white fire. Um, you can see that the like the room has sort of the stairs descending at, at, at either well, coming out from the, the center and then further uh, ahead you see a great large green crystal coming out of the wall in another room some 70-ish <coughs> feet away uh, and then a hallway of sorts that seems to connect out from here. Now uh, the walls here all depict um various symbols which Oren you immediately recognize as you get down here as uh like druidic symbols like written in the druidic language huh it's like, I do yeah these are these are this language of the green way oh what does it say it's it's praises mm. to all of the um to, to all of the four elemental powers so, like, Papa Storm, Auntie Drown, Uncle Blaze, Mama Decay, all of them are given given praises here through these, these murals on the wall. I'm sorry, yeah. Auntie Drown? Yes. That's a fucking good-ass name. <laughs> she make you drink of the... the primer? <laughs> Did you the not primer. read the primer available for $9.99 on... The primer's yeah. the free one! <laughs> <laughs> well, available for nine ninety nine on my website. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, it seems to be a place of worship. Oh, well, that yeah, clarifies. Going the four, going the four elements of the like Papa Storm and all that. Oh well, praise be to Papa Storm. Him and I are on good terms, probably. Maybe. Ding. Yeah, me and various sailors are trying to call his name to try to get the clouds moving along. I don't know why it's here though. Hmm. And that is a good question. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek at these these uh, braziers. I'm gonna like mm -hmm. pluck a feather off of my coat and just kind of flick one inside, and see what happens. So it it seems to just land in there, but not burn. Like, and as you your hand approaches, you're not even getting heat off of these uh, these flames. Huh. It's just my like assumption, my assumption would be because, and if I understand this correctly, not being an architect major. This place used to be above ground, not down here. I mean, it's a good assumption. 
Well, who wants to go touch the big green, glow- the cool glowing rock? Yeah, how about that? As Baldrick is staring at the the giant Tiberium crystal sitting on the other side of the room. <laughs> Orin looks. Orin looks to Tannhauser and goes, "Hey, Tannhauser." Yes. I mean, you want to go take a look at that rock? Why do you rock assume rally. that I want to take a look at the rock? It's clearly dangerous. And by the way, yes, I do. But the fact that you assumed that I wanted to, I find hurtful. And I'm gonna go I didn't really the assume rock. that you want to. I thought that your abilities would be best suited to it, because I think you're pretty You rad. know, don't even lie. And I'm gonna go and... Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go take a look at this rock. Okay, so, th- when he's embarrassed. so this chamber here, um, there's a few things that you see. Um, first of all, there's the, the, the like, oh, glowing... God green crystal here. There are the roots that have covered up to the north. These are all alcoves. It looks like this this section was built around the crystal. This area up here was built around several roots. And down here are several alcoves in the wall that contain um, rows of skulls. Uh, So it's clearly some kind of like mausoleum or like burial spot oh, um, no. now as you as you come in you can see um, the, the like the crystal itself even has some uh, some some like scripture carved into it so as it's glowing you're actually seeing some some items on it um, and then as you get into the room uh, I'm gonna get you to everybody to right click on your tokens and set yourself into combat mode oh, why would we do that Thurston I don't Speaking know you fucking fool that's the elephant's foot yeah and then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> steal it I'll get you all to roll initiative uh, probably in this case with perception so uh, can please please go I, ahead. I mean will this just be perception for me or can I stealth it you can stealth, yeah. If you've you, you've been pretty uh, pr- pretty cautious, uh, Baldrick, very cautious, perhaps too cautious. Um, I'll yuck it up, you. I <laughs> will yuck it up, sir. Oh, that's a good thing. Good thing, good thing yeah. I asked for the extra one. So I'm ahead of Ollie now. Yeah, let's do this. With eight. Okay, cool. All right, All right cool. so to announce everyone's rolls, uh, Oren got an eighteen total. Baldrick got an eight. Volley got a seven. Uh, for Tannhauser, I haven't seen you rolled yet. Do you know how to... Oh, I, I just forgot to change my dice color. Oh. <laughs> like, no, no, you have to click the dice to roll. Same with Rahua. Yes, yes, I yes, did. Yes. That's the thing. Oh, I haven't seen you roll, which is... That's it, weird. Yeah. Oh, what did you... Yeah, oh, I rolled yeah, perception. No, I'm dumb. My bad. Yeah, you gotta roll initiative for perception. Yeah. Don't I got Tannhauser a 20. Rolled. Yeah. There we go. Dirty 20, but a 20 never the last. Bro, re-roll, re-roll. It's really terrible. Bro, dude, that's, you yes, it, it is. Oh, there you me, go. I guess. That, that's what happens. <laughs> you get punished. All right. The natural uh, one. He does the get a natural one. one. All right. So uh, we have the, the initiative. So what happens at this exact point is some things uh, actually fall from the ceiling here. Uh, and a few of them are going to go before Tannhauser. Um, Tannhauser, you will, you will spot one of these come out in front of you. Uh, yeah. It is it is like a roiling mass of sap that is also covered in in detritus, like small twigs and um, pieces of stone. It seems to have like almost a, a humanoid face to it, though it might just be a trick of your mind. But it also has like boils of black coming off of this otherwise like clear amber like substance uh and one of these like there's the distinct sound of like as it falls to the ground and then it slithers towards you um and will take an attack on you with a pseudopod 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 um, it will hit you for six points. Uh, it will hit you by six. Uh, and then it will uh, do nine points of damage to you. Um, three of it physical, and six of it is rot damage. So, oh, did you apply that already? Cool. Um, yeah, so, so that one drops down. That's its go. Then another one drops down. This one moves up to here. 
<laughs> but rather than attacking you, Tannhauser, it sees Ro what? And um, let's out with a globule of some like rotten sap substance that it hurls towards Rahua, who is standing there. And Rahua, you are struck by this, and you take six points of rot damage as well as this hits you, and you you feel it has like this just draining effect on you, like it it. It's, it's this blackish sap substance and it strikes you and then you just feel like even the um, the wood matter that this uh, globule hits start to like wither and, and turn gray from the impact. Ah, uh, vile thing. Uh, Tannhauser, you're up. Dude, okay. I fucking hate, I fucking hate visceroids. <laughs> Good. The rot rallies against the revolution. And uh, I will uh, target this horrid creature that has done such yes. discourteous acts to my person. And yes. uh, I'm going to enter into Lapping Shadow. I will activate my various combat protocols and begin phasing in and out of this realm of reality. And I okay, will one thing it. from last session, um, just so you're aware, to do the conflicts, you have to cast a spell first. Oh, okay. And that's part of the spell action. Uh, so basically, in order to do it, your prior action had to be casting a spell. So it's essentially like you, you cast a spell and then can go into Conflux. Oh, I see. But it's an action. Yeah, exactly. Exa like you'd have to cast a spell normally and then you could be like, OK, I'm going into my Conflux or your Cascade. Oh. Sorry, Cascade. That's the one. So you're you you're you're basically your most recent action would have to be cast a spell or make a spell strike. So you essentially in your first round, you can't enter the, the Cascade first. You have to do a spell or make a spell strike first, then you enter it. I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, in that case, I will then just enter into... I will cast a spell strike mm -hmm. on this poor fool. My, my and, poor fool. And uh, I think let's go. Yeah, totally. Let's rock. Kill him. Uh, kill, kill him. Kill the child. The, the, the rot child. Uh, I hit him by three. Nice. With a four. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But they're yeah. sludge. They're slow moving sludge. Oh, so it's no, easy fair. to hit them. Uh, yeah, you hit, so hit how by three. You hit him with a four. All yeah. right. And we'll go with the damage from that, which should mm -hmm. not be too substantial, quite frankly. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. no. Yeah, oh. one from that. But I then mm -hmm. I'm going to get my gouging claw damage. Yes. Yes, you are. Is gouging claw a single d6? Uh, yeah, but it's plus your, uh, oh, your right, spell right, right. modifier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah, going yeah. to be eight damage in total. Okay. Awesome. 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 So, yeah. Um, eight damage. And that's, yeah. So that will just apply the damage. I'll apply that. And I'll apply that. All right. Okay. And then I will activate oh. dimensional assault. That's just one of my focus spells. Yeah. And I will literally <laughs> teleports behind you. And silhouetted by the crystal. Yes, and I'm going to make just another attack. Sure. And this, this will be at be the a... map minus five. Yeah. Uh, do I get any bonuses since I'm attacking behind them? No, no, there's no facing in this game. Okay. And Ooh. I will miss by four, but that's okay because I, I even though two. I spent a foci for that, I will be able to refresh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you, you you appear behind it. You flanked it, uh, striking it once. Uh, that is the end of your go. You thumped it for eight damage, and it still got so much left. I oh, know. Yeah. Um, These are beefy. They they're they're literal sludge piles. Uh, you can end uh, your turn there, Tenhazer. Send it over to Oren. Oh yes, of course. Well, let me be sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're up to we're up to Orin. Orin, so you've you've heard the the sounds of combat and this like suckling like sludge sound as they move and drop down from the ceiling of these creatures. Right, Orin for his first action is mm -hmm. going to rush up. Go, <laughs> he's going to rush all the way up to his twenty feet and go. Yep. Whoop. He's going to see two of the slime guys and go like, that's no good. And so then what Amelia's going to do, you can see that both of them are within the 30 feet. He's going to cast Electric Arc. Okay. You're going to see his hands come together and then from the staff, 
a bolt of electricity arcs in between both of them. And also, note for everybody, we're now level two. So, so of our sets a little bit better. Uh, they need to make an 18 reflex save. Yeah, I got you. So, can they even pull that off? We'll, we'll find out. Oh, that's right. The thing does, the button doesn't work for some reason with these. Okay, one second. Um, first yeah, one. never rely on it. Yeah, I know. And this. Uh, a crit, seven. So that's crit a crit fails. Fail. And the next one. To crit fail, as he's doing the other roll, you, it's yeah. either 10 over the result or 10 into crit fail is 10 under the result. So the first yeah. one crit fails, the other one was a 15, so he does not make it, so he just takes the full damage. Yeah, so and this then, one takes full... Well, actually, roll the damage for me, please. Oh, yeah, I'm getting you. So yeah, the yeah. full damage is five. So he'll take that, and then he will take the double. Oh. Yeah, so I did 15 damage in total, and that will be the end of Oren's turn. He has electricity so like help you the best arcs out. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, yeah, and these things sort of sizzle with the electrical. Uh, okay, um, Tannhauser. It's me. Another one comes out of the darkness. This is getting out of hand. Targets you and uh, hurls a globule at you. And misses terribly. He has like a like, basically a chunk of rot hits the crystal beside you. Like, and you just hear this like, uh, and that Lobsters is cannot stop the revolution. That's the end of that one's go, and then that brings us to another one, which is drop down. This one comes up to here, uh, and this one will target Aura. No. Again, hucks like another like rotten globule at you and misses terribly. Um, As he misses, Orin spits back. Go, how do you like it? And like you see these masses, and occasionally you're seeing faces in the masses. But again, it could just be a trick on your mind. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, uh you're up. It could just be. There's a trick. no bodies in the slimes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I don't. I really don't like these creatures. Uh. Would there be a way to detect what kind of alignment these things have? Maybe a particular check I should use? Um, it's an ooze, so, like, I don't know, nature's usually ooze-related. But that would yeah, be an action. It. Remember, it's one action to, like, do a recall. Very true. Uh, I will perform a nature check for that. Yeah, give me a, give me a recall knowledge. Just roll me a nature check, bruh. There Tree, you go. bruh. Uh, 15. Okay. So, uh, that's actually not too bad. Like, these are pretty, like, you don't have to roll too, too hyper to know much about these. These are, uh, rotten sap. So they're, they're like sentient ooze sap that has been, like, afflicted by the rot. Uh, what you know is that they, um, they would have a lot of the traits, like, common to, to things infected by the rot, which means in this particular case, they'd probably be mostly, um, neutral creatures like they wouldn't like be necessarily evil by default um just because they're ooze uh you would also know that um they're immune to critical hits and precision damage because they're oozes so like any type of precision damage isn't going to do much but they're incredibly incredibly slow and weak so like just lots of extra damage will, will hurt um could because you'll hit them a lot uh in this particular case you would also know that they are weak um against fire and primal moss, which is a type of thing that directly opposes the rot. Yeah. Friends, I do know something of these creatures. They they burn very, very good. They're rotten oozes. If anyone has some primal moss, they also tend to not like that a whole lot. So throw it at them or shove it in them. I don't necessarily know. I haven't really seen much of them. I have fire. That works great. And let me just okay. reach into my boots for some primal moss. Oh. Volley's boots are empty. That's what that <laughs> was. I am curtailing this now. <laughs> Do I... <laughs> can I check my stores of useless crap that I've... Well, not useless crap. It's my crap. Uh, to check and see if I had pilfered any for my alchemical... Well, alchemical potion crafting needs. You would not have primal moss. You know that okay, that stuff you know, is fairly rare. Shot. <laughs> yeah, good try though. If you had two hero points in a narrative declaration, I'd give it to you. But 
Yeah, probably don't just have any primal moss laying around. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't have this precise alchemical reagent. Mm hmm. All right, you got two actions left for who? What are you doing, buddy? You uh, do something. I'm gonna go up to him and I'm gonna. Go to him. A nice. A nice. Punchy punch. Yeah. Make sure to target him. Of course. Yes, there we go. Target. Oh. Yeah. That's there cool. we go. Now, 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 kill, strike to kill. Now I kill him. I hit him no. with the pick. The pick. The pig. Oh. You hit. hit. Three. Now you're going to kill. Yes. Shit, no, I do not. No. You will do One three damage. points. You will do We're rolling that good shit today. Kill. <laughs> Has like you're literally fighting this sludge that's just like. Oh yeah, that's piercing damage. So. <laughs> Uh, it oh, it yeah. does damage them. It's just they have a lot of hit points. Uh, is that the end of your go, Rua? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that's about it. All right, uh, <laughs> please end your turn. <laughs> My <tired>. boy. <laughs> they caught me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a And then he just <laughs> base booted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it really caught me. Oh, <laughs> fuck I he's trying to so much, dude. <laughs> you know, he's like every Saturday. Every, he's like there. It's like you have like a horde of like drivers going. We gotta get to our own Pathfinder game. <laughs> it's because it's, it's like, their day off, which means they get to sit outside my house and fart really loud. Anyway, Baldrick is I'm moving. Bike traps for your. For your <laughs> <laughs> I already looked. I already looked. There are no police surplus stingers I can use. I, I can't. Because this is also a government road. People <laughs> who work for the government go along this road. I can't bust them. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna move up 15. Yeah. To Jesus, 15. There we go. Uh, I'm going to quick alchemy together and alchemical fire. Yep. And I'm gonna hurl it at this boy because he is already wounded and I hope this will actually do something. It will burn it me could. to death in the process, which is um, what I wanted you to kay. do. Do you want to hit the one, because because if you're throwing it the one in front of Rahua, it's going to get cover. If you throw it the one down here, it will not get cover. But that's the thing. I want to focus fire. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Then it'll just have like a slight bonus to its AC, but that's fine. I will probably be okay unless it's okay. like catastrophically bad. Which, yeah. You know, no, no, no. In, in any case, it would probably suck anyway. Okay, How do it bad up. could it be? Yeah. How bad? Yeah. Ba uh, uh. You stop that. trick comes up, preps firebomb, throws firebomb, firebomb. It just shakes it like a martini for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I assume out. with the, fif the 15 feet, it's like shake, shake, shake. Okay, so that's at a minus two? Uh, yeah. Minus two, circumstance. Boom. I'm going out. How for fuck's oh sake? Oh my god! Not, not not screw, one. You. screw you, screw you. I'm, <laughs> I'm hero pointing that. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, idea. please, please do. Uh, give myself hero point. Because I think if you fucking like, if you crit fail on a splash weapon, it's real bad. Oh, please, no. please don't hero. kill me. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. Um, there we go. So, so you don't actually do crit damage because yeah, these things no are immune hits. to crits. But you, yeah, you, you hit it. Um, okay. okay, so roll damage on the first one. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the first one. Yeah, sorry, 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 because, because, oh, sorry, yeah, because you're going to do splash to the second, but roll damage okay. on the target. So I'll just roll damage then. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, no crit damage. Sad. Uh, them buttons don't seem to work. Oh, there That's we go. Sag. Nice. Okay. Sag. Seven. So it's going to be persistently on fire now, which is cool. It's going to take seven points of damage. It's then going to take um, three more points because it is weak to fire. Um, cool. Meh, not too I don't know why it does that automatically. That's weird. Anyways, <laughs> uh, it says meh, not impressed, apparently. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's built into Foundry, but sure, it's meh, not impressed. Um, then you do splash attitude. damage, right? Uh, yep. So your splash damage is how much on that? It is one, because it yeah, is a so level one bomb. But it's going to be four because oh, of yeah, the weakness, weakness on the other one, so... Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Meh, not impressed. I don't know why these users <laughs> are saying that. That's uh, what they all say now. Yeah, that's what they all say. All right, Baldrick, uh, I think <laughs> that's it for your said it earlier. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, meh. Uh, yeah. It's from the token health module. Okay, cool. Um, 
Right. Uh, you may end you. your turn. Makes you say, man. Cool. Bali, yeah. do something. I'm going to do something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, these things are immune to crits because uh, Thurston is committing microaggressions against me specifically. Oh, wow! <laughs> Stop. Damn! Damn! Damn. Damn. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start uh, schmoving. I'm going to get here. Uh, and then I am going to Thanks. tumble through. <laughs> I love you. There's E. Tumble through the ooze. Yeah, tumble. Yeah. I want you to critically fail this. <laughs> I want to kill you with jello, damn it. <laughs> Sludge. Sludge. All right. Uh, I'm going to tumble through. Tumble. Yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the ooze is like, um, ooze, and you just fucking, like, pirouette over it. Yep, I'm gonna jump down there. Mm -hmm. Um, and because I'm now level two, uh, I don't know if he can be flat-footed if he doesn't have feet. However, if he can be, I mean, he is. He's flat-footed because you're flanking. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, there you go. Uh, here, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll turn on, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, <laughs> bam, he's flat-footed. There we go. Hooray. Good job. He sure is, his feet yeah. sure are flat, bro. <laughs> his, his blop is flat. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish him. Uh, uh, question about finisher here. Uh-huh. Because not that I'm like again, these are not totally not microaggressions against you, and <laughs> I would never be be so rude. What is the damage on a finisher? Is a finisher all precision damage? <laughs> I don't know, thirsty. Why are you telling me this? I'm just uh, yeah, yeah. Would, yeah, would apply uh, your precise strike. Oh yeah, so um, um, so just so you know, uh, mm -hmm. you don't want to finisher these because it's um just gonna do more precision damage which they're immune to <laughs> mm -hmm. it's almost like you know sometimes I have encounters where like Baldrick's fire does nothing and other times I'm like fuck you Odoroshi Rider this would be one of the, the, the fuck you Odoroshi Rider moments. but you can roll an attack roll <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll just hit him then yeah just hit him with the reaper I'm just gonna fun. hit him no, no hit him Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna end it all! <laughs> I don't even think I don't even oh god. I don't even think it's like good. Like I don't even think it's smart for you to use a hero point on that. Every time we every time we've rolled a one this setting, I've just imagined Jesus. the gangsters paradise. Oh. <laughs> it never changes, yeah. no, it's just that. Bali is just going to like backflip over this guy and then just like go to hit him and the sword just like s just drops out of her hand slides across the ground or something I just I like the I like the idea that you're like so instinctual you like pirouette over this you like I do this to everyone I pirouette over flank stab finisher and then you like get to the finisher part and you're like where do I stab and you just kind of like look like, where the fuck do I stab? I don't know where to stab. Start <laughs> crying. Yeah, just uh, weeping openly. <laughs> All right, uh, I believe uh, is that. Wait, that was your second action, wasn't it? Uh, no, because I moved. Oh, moved through. then tumbled. Okay, yeah. so you may end your turn. Uh, so I'm going to take a bow and go. Ta da! <laughs> and then pick up my sword. <laughs> oh my god! Gosh, yeah. Wow, that was aggressively terrible. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna target uh, target my good friend um, Tanhauser here. Well, with hold on. Pod. Through the pod, and then I'll miss. And then I'll do it again. Do your skill always. Miss, again. miss by two. And then I'll do it again and miss by three. Pure and then I'm skill. just. I'm just. You know what? I'm just gonna go all out and like they're mindless. He's just gonna keep trying to attack you at a minus ten, and then I miss by four. You Good dice rolls scale. I had. Yeah, as it's like blah 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 blah, blah I'm continually just like whiffing on you. Uh, the one that's like persistently on fire is um going to start by attacking um attacking Rahua. Yeah, so, but what if he didn't? 
Yeah, well, I mean, that could be a thing. He'll miss Rua, because I rolled a two, because apparently this is just the game of terrible rolls. Uh, then it will move uh, one, two, three <laughs> to there. I, I, don't, I, don't wish to, I don't wish to interrupt, but I do want to point out a train is literally going by on the tracks right now. <laughs> so, can I do anything? Uh, it, and then, very slow rumble. They said it's rock grind day. We gotta make yeah. sure that this man's audio is just full of motors. Yup. Uh, okay, so so it like attacks Rahua and then like sludges its way with two actions towards Baltric. Um, that's the end of its turn. Um, it fails. It will take three additional damage as well because of its, um, because, you know, it takes the extra fire damage. So I'll just mark that. That cool. Uh, so the persistent fire damage. continues to mess it up. Uh, actually, wait, no, I need to give it another point. Of fire what a shame. Damage. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, that brings us back to Tannhauser. It's Tannhauser time, baby. That's not his catchphrase. And he yes, would never say that, but. It's, it's Hauser Tan time. Hauser time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hauser house. God damn. Are you, are you trying to emulate tool time? <laughs> Ted Hauser's just like, I'm going to kill chaos. It um, bubbles back at you. I think it's time for me to activate my arcane complex. Yep. Uh, or arcane cascade, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. Now you don't even know. Now I have plus one damage. Um, I'm gonna spell strike this fool. Yeah, do it up. All right, so let's roll. Let's see, my rapier gets a critical hit. Nice. Which Ooh. is fantastic. Because you rolled a 27. That's right. Um, yeah. so let's roll my crit first. Um, so just, just to note, you don't actually do crit damage on this. I don't? No. Because they're well, immune to criticals. So, remember these so you just roll regular crit. damage. Well, in that case... I roll five plus All one, right. so six. Six, and I'll apply the extra one. And <laughs> Man, I did person. get a crit on my, uh, do I get to crit on my spell attack? Uh, no, it is immune to all critical effects. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, regardless, I will roll the damage mm -hmm. for my fire attack, which is oh, nice. uh, Good. five. And I believe there's also some persistent damage in there. Um, For produced flames? Yes, there is. Uh, isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, it is On a critical small. success, it does that, so yeah. Well, but if he doesn't take crits, then he can't take the persistent. Oh, okay. Uh, which is why I did it in the first place. F. Well, mm -hmm. regardless. Um, I would... <sighs> I think, like, I, I'm just going to say, like, it, it can still be on fire. It just, just won't take the... Um, the double crit damage. It's just not going to take the double damage. Like, it's more meant to be that it's um, it's immune to, like, extra damage. Like, from, like, oh, like, I can do a precision strike, which is what a crit is. Like, I'll still let you set it on fire with a good hit. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Very kind. Thank you. I'm very kind. All right. And um, that, the DM that never lets us do anything except for everything is my turn. Yeah. Oh, thank you, friend. Oren, you're up. Nice. I'm going to... If the spell would like to work today, produce flame over at the glob near Baldrick. Okay, the one right by you? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yep, he's going to go swoosh. And basically that is... Well, I would crit it, but... They're Don't. dumb. But regardless... Damage. He'll do damage for it. That's going to be seven plus his weakness. Yep, there we go. Cool. It's hurt. It's Righteous. looking real bad. It's looking real bad. Righteous, for my final attack, I am going to beat it with a stick. <laughs> Map. All right. Because it's multi-attack <laughs> penalty. It's a minus five, but I hit it by one. But it's a ooze. Club. And it's bludgeoning damage. You club, you club the flaming pile of sludge to death. Righteous. And that's the end of Oren's turn. And the end of his life. Now that's I not, put myself in attack mode. That's not as stupid as it sounds. Because you can like you can mash like goopy stuff into a pure liquid. Mama is making mashed potatoes. He's making mashed potatoes. He's making mashed potatoes. One of uh -huh. them comes out of the darkness towards you. 
Yeah, I bet it does. And strikes you with a sweaty pod. Sweaty pod. The sweaty pod hits you. Oh, oh, ouch. I am going to reaction nimble dodge. Oh, well, yes, you may react nimble dodge. She's then I will it. miss you. Oh, best of nice. course. Well played. So do you want to tell the class what Nimble Dodge lets you do? Oh, Valerie? yes. Nimble Dodge. Uh, I think I can post it to the chat. Does it? Is it going to let me? Uh, it's essentially just I can take a reaction to give myself a plus two to my AC. Yeah. Uh, for that attack. Yeah. Which is good because it'll make me miss. And then I'll be all like, whoa, I only have one action left. So I'm going to do it in minus five. And I'm going to crit you just to spite you. Oh, no, I'll just hit you normally. Don't but do I'll only do six points of damage. Worth it. Worth it. Take six points. Uh, so, so it pseudo pod slaps you, and it does three points of uh, like bludgeoning, and then three points of again this this like touch of rot on you begins to sort of like gray your skin slightly Ugh. as it touches your your arm. Um, it's just not my day. Room. No, it's not. Uh, then we come to the one that's flanked and is just like angry at Rahua, so it's going to attack Rahua. I didn't do anything to you. You merely yeah, asked but, for this but, by existing. But, but Volley was like rolled a natural one, so its mindlessness doesn't consider Volley a threat. It considers you. Ouch. That's right. <laughs> I'll miss. Damn, it really do be like that. I'll critically miss. It really do be like that sometimes. And then I'll critically miss again. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good, Ooze. If it's any consolation, oozing. you did get to beat up Speaker really hard. I I had a moment where I did. Uh, Rahua, you are you are up. <laughs> oh god! What the fuck am I gonna do with this crappy hit him? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, like will, like yeah, the, the thing him. with these guys is is they don't have good AC, so it's just about like chunk and help off them. You chip them. Yeah. I smack him around a little. I'm gonna beat yeah. up the one in front of me who thought it was going to try and ruin my day. Okay. Bring Here we it. Go. Bring it. Oh, target. Yeah. It pops a boil to, like, intimidate you. I'm just going to attack with unarmed to not get piercing and reduce my damage further. But you don't. No, no, no. You like piercing. Piercing's still effective. Like, yeah, don't. It it doesn't have any resistances. It just has a lot of health. So you're good. Yeah, prove you're it. good to use your thing. Ten <laughs> hit by nine. Yeah. Roll me some Dimaggio. Okay, it's gonna be another one. I'm feeling it. God damn it! Oh. What the fuck? It's <laughs> your sad mouth and your jinx. Be my big mouth. Would you no, like to hit again? Is he now the, uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna take him again. <laughs> yeah, very good. You see, now, now the Just... Gangster's Paradise noise has been replaced by the uh, Earthworm Jim pain noise from the early <laughs> nose. That's so fucking <laughs> specific. It's very specific. I, I can imagine the scene of Rahua just. You know, like that, uh, what, what's that movie? Or the scene of those guys, or the shot of the dead, or just beating the zombie? <laughs> it's just that for like an hour, but I'm, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm slowly killing it. Um, okay, do you have uh, a second attack? I do. Oh, look, you if hit. I just hit barely. zero. Roll me damage. Don't roll another Bonk. one, Ro. Oh, there we there go. He rolls a six. Rolls a the six. The god has arrived. <laughs> And you, you have a third action, Rahua. I mean, these these have a terrible AC, even with I've a minus 10. I've got nothing 10. to do beyond beating the shit out of these pork. No, they're not. no, no, I'm not taking pity on them. They don't deserve pity. Yeah. You, best, you best watch yourself, mister. Okay. No. You miss. Your I'm anger not learning from my mistakes you. this time. <laughs> Please end your turn, sir. <laughs> Fine. Here we go. Baldrick, no. you're up, my friend. There we go. Okay. Let's do some... Calculating. Here's how to do oh. some real damage. Uh, uh, Baldrick is going to step over the smoldering, splattered remains of this one because he doesn't yes. want to fucking touch that. Absolutely. Nasty. I All assume right. like you cool walk. Just, just over. No, he doesn't cool walk. He, he literally tiptoes over. He like, you know that, that thing you do where you like you see a puddle, and you like arch your foot up and you step over it. <laughs> yes. You do a big stepping. Nope, not touching that. Right. Uh. Uh. Uh, yeah, that one will do. And I'm going to target the one directly in the middle. Yep. I'm going to cocktail up another uh, alchemist Love fire on. as soon as I create another one. Mm -hmm. Shake a shake a. Yeah. Shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Shake, shake, shake. Another bomb, mind the heat. Uh, is this one getting cover? 
Um, in this case, I'll say these are short enough. You don't have to worry about it here. Epic. Epic gamer moment. <laughs> You'll hit. Barely. Well, you yeah. Barely. Barely. Okay, roll me. Nice. I rolled a 12. a 12. Nice. Roll me DiMaggio or the fire. I rolled that time. Ooh, big damage. Uh, that's a nice. seven. Very good. So that'll be seven on him. He'll get persistent damage, which I'll drag over. Uh, seven plus three, right? Plus three, yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've got to apply that. Yeah, I've got to apply the weaknesses manually. Um, the splash will hit the other one and will, um, like, kill it. So I'll just dust it. There. Um, nice. So kills the one in front of Tannhauser, and then the one over here will uh, end up taking uh, four, four from the splash. Oops. So, yeah. Why okay. don't these damn things die? Yeah. I don't know why it says and it that's... zero damage, but whatever. Bleh, not impressed. Volley turn. <laughs> Yeah, Volley. Uh, so you like you see this chemical explosion in front of you as the one in front of Tannhauser like shrivels up and withers. The other one is now on fire, and then you still have the one that like even through the fire of the bomb, Rahua keeps like attacking with the pick. All right, I'm just gonna join Rahua and just the the, the precision damage isn't helping me here. I'm just gonna start hitting it like bluntly <laughs> with my sword. <laughs> This is like the worst right. curb stomping. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, uh, just let's, just uh, fucking kick the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it should automatically apply the the, the plus two for yeah, flanking. I've, I've yeah. got that. Yeah. Okay. Epic. Epic gamer moment. Epic. All right. Uh, well, it does hit. Uh, yeah. With I a twenty. That... Yeah. <laughs> Good. Or... One. You're chipping it down. It takes the damage. You, you, <laughs> your first attack. I feel, I feel like I feel like that one episode of Ed and Nitty where Ed, a double D is holding up the plank. Just hit the dang thing, Ed. Yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not even stabbing it. I'm just I'm just hitting it like with a stick at this point. Keep oh, right. it. You got two uh, more. Oh, yeah, God, keep going. We Second can, one. We can, we can we can eat them and go to go. It's no, like we're sound. They like turn in the water. We're not doing that. All right, them. All right. That critical miss on the second attack. Yeah. Do it. We're so good. We're so good. good at what we do. I love that. Like, I'm like, I'll give them like these just like the absolutely thing. low AC things. And you're just like <laughs> gaming, gaming hey, moment. Buddy, All right. Stab slimes with boxing gloves. There you go. You hit. You critically hit with a 19 sure. to 17 total with minus 10. Yay. Uh, Man, I damage. sure wish I could use a finisher. Hey, card nope. gauge. <laughs> Don't you try hitting these slimes, card gauge. <laughs> what is it? You and Rahua like, need to Big wind up. Damage. That's your problem. Like You and Rahua need to like have a shitty roll and then get angry and do Yeah, damage. exactly. We're both just taking turns, like swatting these things. Fucking hell! Uh, okay. The commenter gets this right. The GM lowballs an encounter, and then the dice decide to turn it into a life and death struggle. It's true. <laughs> it's true. That's uh, true. All right, all right, uh, Volley. That's your your go after you like three action beat this thing. Yeah, yeah. Just really ungracefully. Okay. Last turn I did a backflip. Now I'm just. Eh, eh. It's kind of just disturbing. <laughs> like, everyone kind of thinks a little less of her after this. Not because, like, oh, she's so ungraceful. It's just, like, it really shows, like, a really fucked up and violent nature. Yeah, uh, exactly. Both of the corpses continue to smolder, I guess. They fail their persistent checks to not be on fire. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're filling the room with fumes. We're slowly Yeah, exactly. Dying. Like, Yucky. fumies. Uh, Tannhauser, you're up. Okay. Uh, that's not how Tan sounds. Tan sounder? Tan sounder? <laughs> Tan sounder. Tan sounder. I transmogrify into a corn cob. <laughs> Before I do that, I should take my turn. Um, yeah. The revolution, I mean. I will move to the flank of this slime and I'll show them. I'll show them the power of my ideology. <laughs> Also, uh, it bubbles in response. <laughs> don't don't the room, you hear Baldrick shout, How about you show them the ideology of hit them with a damn sword? Dialectically, you should shut the hell up. And, Kill the uh, damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please All right. attack. I'm going to attack. Please end this. my suffering. I'm going to introduce this thesis to its antithesis and we'll synthesize its death. Fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, you got I that one. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Well, roll that regular damage because you can't crit it. <laughs> but a waste. <laughs> All right, five. You want to, You should know we're only critting these things because their AC sucks so much. Oh, it's yeah. so bad. <laughs> Which is why he made them immune to crits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bastard. That checks out. Lose his work. Okay. I'm going to get the gouging claw damage. Can't do Eleven it up. reloaded. Gouge his claw. Oh. Okay. Oh, that is nine. So that damage. is nice. so that's nine plus what was the other one? Five. Four. So that's fourteen yeah, damage. I've, I've, yeah, I've got four. it all in there. Yeah. Splash. Yeah. yeah. As it's, it's like on it fire and hurting. So, and yeah, and it's that. always good to say it out loud because there'll be people on podcasts going, "What was it, man? What yeah. was the wrong?" How and much did it down? There. Down. I just want to say. Between all the globules being thrown, between all the blunt damage and explosions, I've been using gouging claw, which is presumably like bisecting these slimes. This room is probably like completely black with just it, ooze and it gunk. smells bad. There's gas. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's oh. real just, This bad. room ought to smell like a Stinky. fucking blood. Or love <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> uh -oh. Stinky. Rotten. Please just right. melt before I kill everyone in the room. Oh. <laughs> All right, cool. Orn's going to wind up with another electric arc mm -hmm. and go. You see the slams, uh, staff slam down and go shabam. They need to make slam. a reflex save. Yes. Okay. Gonna do it. Chaos, chaos. Thanks, yeah. Windows. <laughs> Zap. Fail. Epic right, we got a 12 yeah, nice. on one roll. They have, they have to beat an 18 yeah. for context. And okay, the so they both 12. fail. Not a goddamn thing. Right, both just. fail. That's going to be seven damage total. Oh, that one's out. One is and left. <laughs> oh, on almost. fire with very little of its health remaining. <laughs> Why does uh, only one take three? Well, that's right. That's how much he had left and then he died. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, so one's down, the other one's there. And God, I wish I had a single attack thingy. Throw your spear at, her. at it. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Just whack it, yeah. Just throw your spear. Like, da 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 da. I, uh, I only have a staff. I am so tempted just to chuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like I barely use it anyway, but no, I'll uh, I'll leave the kill uh, to Rahua. I think Rahua needs the final kill because his yeah, turn's coming toast. up, so he <laughs> will end his turn. <laughs> okay. That or the persistent fire damage will take. So I was about to say, so the use <laughs> is gonna go. It's gonna turn to Tanhauser. It's gonna watch me crit Tanhauser three times in a row. Um, oh, you, you're gonna hurt me too. It. I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you no. for nine points of damage. So. Wait, how did you? How the fuck did you hit that? I rolled like an eleven, and then it got a plus nine, so it's twenty on you. Um, okay, sweaty. We'll let it go. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm gonna click this apply damage button here. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, hang on oh I applied the damage to it. No! 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, the system uh, doesn't make damage. mistakes. Chaos, chaos! Just heal the damage. I did. I did. I'm alive. It's not all dead. Right, it's also not right. invisible. Had, also, yeah, I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. <laughs> wrong button. Wrong uh, one. Had th you had four HP. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I had four. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Then, then it's going to attack you again. <laughs> attack is man. Quack. It's gonna hit you again because I roll a 17 on the second attack. No. Man, not impressed. The, <laughs> the, the, the sludge does. He'll hit you for eight points. Oh I'm done <laughs> <with you. laughs> and then, and then the third attack. I could only possibly do this on a 20. Here comes the, yeah, here comes oh. the 20. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> What's that? What's that? No, I critically okay, missed. Go. My six. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then let's uh, let's let the let the game do its math. 
No. Uh, it, it it quite dies too. Uh, it quite it quite dies too. It it, it, it <laughs> does that like uh, that it's YouTube quite. video where the guy lights his own fart on fire and explodes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, exactly. He did. <laughs> so it like it like like pseudopods go striking out onto Tannhauser, like bashing you around, impacting you heavily, and then it burns itself out as it collapses down. Uh, the reactionary fervor is now depleted. All according to plan, right, Tanny? Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm covered in slime. You are covered in a bit of gook, huh? <laughs> you're, Can you're we go fine. back to the pool? His his ribs are broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like 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 it's like Darth Vader when he takes off the helmet. Spoilers for episode six. And uh, <laughs> he's like, you hear all this fucking op- apparatus totally gunked up. That's what's happening here, but it's actually gunk. He's his bones. He has bones in his mouth. No, his bones. <laughs> his old man bones. Oh, you're looking awful. Oh, no. As my friend said, you look fucked up. Really, really fucked up. I assure you, I feel worse than I look. That rot. Is he sure like visibly bleeding from multiple points? Oh, like it's more than like not bleeding because there wasn't any cuts. It's just sure. more like he took a lot of impact damage, and there's sections of his skin that have just been grayed by rot, and he's bruised. Like he's been in like with a boxer, except the boxer was like sludge. Oh no! All right, all right. Hold still, hold still. Uh, because because I'm level two now, I finally have. Uh, the ability to mix a delicious martini in the form of the mi- elixir of life miner. And I will do so. I will waste one of my imbued ingredients and conjure up an elixir of life for you, Speaker D. I will also assist in the healing process. Uh, and wrap how can my I, disgusting how can I give this you. to him? Use? Yeah, I would just use it and I can, I can click the heal button, so. There you go. You get four. Congrats. God, I fucking hate this thing. <laughs> healing hey, healing an alchemist blows. It's our, it's more it's very situational. Yeah. Yeah. Does our cleric have any ability to heal yet? <laughs> I do. You actually. have some input, Rahua. <laughs> I do. Listen, can I target him with natural medicine without trigger a healing thing for him, or does that? Uh, so, do you want to like you could spend time to treat deadly wounds? which is basically you like all decide to okay we're gonna take like a 10 minute breather here and you can then use like medicine or in your case nature um to to treat uh treat wounds and so it's essentially like a dc 15 check and if you succeed they regain 2d8 uh if you crit succeed they regain 48 and if you crit fail they take 1d8 so may i may i suggest something then Yes. In character. Yes. All right. You guys look like you got the snot beat out of you. Oren, why don't you and me check out this damn crystal? Rahua, can you take those two back to the other braziers and heal them? I I'm sure feeling can. fine. Yeah, let's make sure that... Spotlight doesn't need anything. Yeah, the Tannhauser's good first. Then I can join you and help you out. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be up here. But I do. I need but... Tannhauser for this, too. Go ahead. Do what you can with this... Crystal, if you need to bring me a sample, I am going to go sit in the healing jacuzzi, and when I return, we will proceed. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Considering the healing jacuzzi is a bit far. Also, it didn't heal you. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I like the idea that you think it helps, but it, like, like, Horan <laughs> clearly it's, tested it's, this. Uh, placebo. Yeah. Pool of placebo. <laughs> In that case, I'll just take out one of our bottles of spring water and just he start was, drinking it. He was, he was just suggesting you guys, like, get away from the crystal because he doesn't know if this thing is going to make it worse. Yeesh. How about though, uh, as we figure this out, let's, let's maybe let's take our break here because it's uh, we, yeah we haven't taken a break idea. yet. That we should probably do idea. that. Yeah, yeah we'll do some yeah. logistics and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah we'll, we'll be back. Yeah. So yeah. with that, everybody, we will be right back, and I'll be talking to you guys during the break here in a bit. So we're gonna take about five or ten minutes, everybody. Be yeah. right back. Check out these messages. Yeah, these messages. Gonna go beat up Stick Stick around.
Hey guys, I'm getting my own Zorn the Bear plushie made. Basically, Makeshift has decided to partner with me to get a Zorn the Bear plushie made for all of you. But there's a caveat. I need 200 of you to purchase this bear so it can actually get made. Basically, with production stuff and everything else, it's not worth it unless they get enough people to actually, you know, go into it to justify all the production costs and stuff. So I really, really need your help to head over to the campaign page, which is will be down in the description below. Or if you're on podcast listening to this, head over to makeship.com and look for the Zorn the Bear Jumbo Blush. It should be very much near the front page, or if you just scroll down and search for it, you'll be able to find it there along with looking on my Twitter and various other social media outlets that I have, where I'll be posting on it constantly. So yeah, I hope you guys really support me by getting this plush. He's a big grumpy bear and he'll tolerate all of your hugs. So with that, thank you all so much for supporting me. Please, please tell a friend about it. I really, really would like this plush to be made for all of you. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. All right, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, hello. We back. We out here. How what do you want? So want to play games? <laughs> no. It's a tall order. <laughs> Not anymore. Just want to play pen and paper. Okay, so why don't we go over what we were going to do, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I think we're going to heal. Uh, so I think we're basically needs to make a uh, a nature check to heal. The old tan helder. Penthouse will let me heal him. I will allow this to occur. Okay. And like last time, a horrible panoply of vines washes over <laughs> you, Tanhouse, or just snakes up your wounded parts of your body. Really enjoy seeing all the blobs become flat footed. That's right. <laughs> We're going to get a 22. So uh, that's ah. good. That'll be enough to give him 2d8 healing back. Let's hope they're good. Yeah, don't mess this up. Roll the 2d8. 2d8, Rehuba. Oh no, I did 2d6. <gasps> it was going to be less. Do 2d8. Do oh, it. Oh, Oh, fuck. Get out of my way, Steam Overlay. <laughs> Buddy, how's your Steam Overlay up? Yeah, what? what is happening over He's there? He's going to do his... Bada bing, bada boom. That's not bad. 13. Okay. 13. 13. Bam. Oh! Tenhauser, get 19. 13 health back. Tenhauser, you're looking for Fallout fall out 3 stim pack noise. Yeah. Yes. Then Orin will come in and do battlefield medicine on him. Hey, I can help possibly the rest of this. Very then well. Then he will do battlefield. He will first, you'll first have to cast, um, because I do not have a healing skin. I'll cast healing plaster, which basically allows me to get dirt and go, and now it turns into healing kit stuff, basically. And then I roll a nature check because I have natural medicine to attempt a healing check on you. Oh, I almost saw the <laughs> I almost saw the one, but I do get a fifteen. Uh, so do pass the DC in which I heal you for two D eight, which that will be terrible. Five. Okay. Hey, that's um, that's enough to get me to almost full. Nice. We're all animals. What? And animals. Something, something. Thank you, Orin. Yeah, right. no problem, man. Orin. Yeah. You flap your way over here. Okay. <laughs> over the corpses. Uh, so. Hmm. So, why don't we approach this from two different angles? You look at it with your more nature-attuned eyes, and I'll see if this thing's actually alchemical in nature. Or hey, whatever I can learn. Tenhauser can also help in some of the magical departments. That's That'd be a good right. Idea. Tenhauser, get your ass up here. You might not believe this, but I went to college. You might not believe this, but I also went to college. What'd you major right. in? Who the hell's rolling something? I'm gonna kick Political your ass. Political science. Really? I would've guessed pottery. That would be a pretty dumb guess. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll activate my, uh, evil nanomachines. Uh, that... 14. For okay. this one? Um. Uh, you're, you're not familiar, Baldrick. Um. 
Never seen this before. Yeah. Oh, 25 on my Arcana roll. Yeah, um, so so you're able to, to do some detection here on this large crystalline um, growth. Uh, you can tell, uh, Tannhauser, that this is a, like, natural crystal formation that has basically had the equivalent of a continual light spell cast on it. So it is actually just a very pretty rock in the room that has been magically enchanted to provide the light. Interesting. Um, Can I try to cut a piece of it off? Yeah, absolutely. I would like to assist and also get a piece. Okay. You can tell that as you're cutting pieces off of it, like, it's not glowing anymore. Like, anything you take off of it, the magic does not seem to Uh, go with it. Magic. I wish it was as certain as metal. Alas, this rock is but a natural formation. The only thing mystic about it is the light spell cast. I was hoping we could bring it with us. But it seems as though it was meant solely to illuminate this corridor. That's odd. That seems hey. suspiciously intentional. Hey, Vali, do you want to uh, give me sound. a uh, perception check? I would love to give you a perception check. As the person currently not, like, focused on the big glowy <laughs> crystal. <laughs> oh, uh, I saw that one. That's a 19. Okay, uh, so you do notice a few things. First of all, um, in the alcoves here to the south, uh, though you don't have light to like the dark area here, the the glowing crystal illuminates a section down here where you do notice um, there's like a skull that has a small uh, leather satchel by it. Hmm. Uh, and you also notice as you depart, uh, like the tangled uh, web of like roots and such here to the north, you notice something kind of glint uh, off of the off of the crystalline light there, like an object that's in the roots. Hmm. I'm gonna lean down and I'm gonna snatch up this little pouch. Sure. Um, uh, and then you I'm hear the jingle under. of glass as you as you grab it. Oh. And I'm going to uh, crack it open while I meander over to uh, over to the vines. Yeah, and this is this is all kind of going on as they're like checking out the crystal and like Rahua and um, Tannhauser are taking off bits of it and yeah. Uh, okay, so you're able to um, first of all uh, see that the the um, inside the in, inside the, the the satchel are uh, two two vials filled with red liquid, um, and then what appears to be. A, a vial, but it's full of like some kind of green growth. Hmm. And there's like a slip of of paper that has like scrawled notes, um, which you guess to be some kind of like maybe mathematical equations. Huh. Going to squint down at the mathematical occasions. Or uh, occasions. Sh- equations. Equations. Can somebody who went to college come? determine what these mean? I played college ball, you know, and I'll go and grab it. I... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to walk between Baldrick and Tannhauser and just hold out the, uh, the vials that I found and stuff. And this looks more like your wheelhouse, unless this is, uh, I kind of shake it. I don't think it's whiskey. I wouldn't imagine it is. If it is, I have dibs. Sure. Uh, I will roll a 19 for alchemy. On which? Oh, wait, hang on. That would be. That would be a plus two because that alchemical savant. Okay. On Uh, which? I will do it on the growth first. So add a plus two. Okay, so I will explain what this is as you have identified it. Um, So you identify this as a moss bomb, which is a, like, colony of primal moss that has essentially been put into a bomb form. Um, And the equation that Vali has as well, that is a formula on how to make these with, like, infused reagents or, like, general reagents you can purchase. (laughs) Baldrick is just steadily reading over this, mm-hmm. and he he kind of like looks between the paper and the the little jar in his hand. That's, uh, this is an alchemical script. 
Oh. Actually, hang on. Let me look at this. He, yeah. he, he rips them away from Volley and begins to turn to the breed in the light. That, okay, okay. You sure you haven't been here before? This isn't your stash or something? Mixture of the rotten natural ingredient here, and then you... It's, it's fine. And a diameter? Not the radius. I'm just going to be leaning annoyingly over his shoulder and just... Oh, yeah, no, that that's what I was thinking. He's, he's muttering to incoherently to himself as he reads through it. I have uh, I have appended the the formula for a lesser <laughs> moss bomb onto your character sheet as a known formula you now have. Thank you very much, Thrust. Nice. Yes, uh, along with that, I will also be providing you in your inventory equipment one uh, moss bomb. Uh, and this will which... be a permanent one. This will not be one that I can. Correct. This is not like this is it's one not that you. Decay. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Very interesting. Uh, you would know ba- basically for the audience and what these do is um, these do 2d6 moss damage and 2 moss splash damage. Moss is a type of thing that only affects creatures that have an inherent weakness to it. So typically rot creatures because primal moss opposes the rot. So uh, if you threw like moss at a regular person, it wouldn't do anything. But if you fought something that was like rot tainted, um, this would do 2d6 moss damage and 2 moss splash damage. As a first level bomb. Hmm. Interesting. This seems to be more of a counteractive measure against rot than anything useful. Well, not, I say useful, given that most of what I use these things on tend to be living or otherwise, you know, considered alive. <laughs> but this could have some use against rot touch creatures. That actually is quite useful. What a nice find, actually. Let me see, is there anything else I need for this? I need scan. He goes back uh, and you wanna, scanning the paper. Do you want to give me a quick crafting check just on the other liquids real quick? Um, just as you're doing this as well. <laughs> Volley's like dangling it over him like, what about this one? Yeah, exactly. Like, what, about these, what about these two raspberry ones? Is it is it bothering <laughs> you when I tap on your helmet like this? Ah, quit it. Echo's in here. Ding, ding, uh, ding, 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 ding. He'll, he'll stuff the moss bomb in his pocket and curl up the, the alchemical note and stuff it in his pack and he'll check them over. Yeah, just give me one crafting check. They're basically the same. Ah, oh, damn it! It was almost a. It's a seventeen. Is that good enough? Is, do you get the plus two on that as well? It's oh, you've got the mod, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you. I was just making sure. You, uh, that will be enough. Uh, you identify these as two lesser healing potions. Hmm. So healing potions these too. are the ones that are uh, two d eight plus five hit points. Yeah, what I'm going to do what I can is drag right these now. over to the people's loot so that you have them and can distribute them to who you want to. Yeah, honestly, just split these up between yourselves. It's not liquor. You can't enjoy it like that. Oh, bummer. Well, if you were to quaff it like beer, I'd cut you open and take it back out. It's much more useful than liquor. Oh, jeez. That's a little, a little much, but I understand. Don't waste useful up. reagents like that. This shit's expensive. You're right. You can... You don't drink liquor. It's used for Molotovs. Yeah. <laughs> Baldrick and Ted oh. after high five. What are you talking about? You just hear a loud crunching from behind. <laughs> Rue Ru- Ru- is just kind of munching on the crystal that he broke off. <laughs> God. Oh, I how does it taste? Hope it's not radioactive. I don't know <laughs> what it tastes like. I honestly... Here, try Nothing. mine. And I'll, I'll, I'll hand Ru the one I broke off. Right. Here, who will also eat the chunk of crystal. <laughs> hey, Ru- 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 quick thing. Yeah. You, uh, you're from, how's your nature looking at with this thing? No. I'm kind of no, determined it's not really, uh, useful, but I kind of want to know what mineral this is. Mm, well, it's a closer look. I'll roll an intro check to see uh, what I know Ooh. about it, and I got a 27. Big number. Yeah, um, so so you notice a few things in this room. First of all, the, the, the you would get the same as, like, Tannhauser did, knowing that the illumination here is, is purely aesthetical. Like, this isn't anything, like, magical with a purpose. It's more like, here's this nice glow for the room. Uh, you know that the, like, gem formations like this are often associated... Um, 
with the the deity that you know as Ing Taus or Mama Decay, as she is like known in in common circles, uh, the sort of like matron of the the elements of Earth. Um, and you would know that as well, that there's like a symbol of Mama Decay that's like etched into the ground over here that you're seeing illuminated by the light as well. And then kind of looking at the chamber, this is probably like a place where uh, servants of of like Ing Taus were, were actually like buried in the, the, the southern mausoleum section. Uh, the crystal was probably just sort of an homage to uh, to that deity. Yeah, not much, not much importance with this rock, I'm afraid. Oh, just as well. That's. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and check the other stuff. But uh, Baldrick, I have a question. What's up? You, you lived in this city for a while, right? Yeah. No one talks the way I talk, like right? No. Not a single soul. Not as far as I've lived. Damn it. Like, Oren's been pondering the entire time as he's been listening to everyone, and he's like, my dad told me if I talked like this, I'd blend in. I haven't found a single person who talks like this. Wait, I know someone who talks like that. Oren looks. Uh, but he did get run over by the chainsaw car, so I don't know if you can still network. I'm just adding that to my notes. <laughs> the what car? What the chainsaw car? We've all seen it. Don't be I, dramatic. I, not personally, no. Well, you what, will. What is this chainsaw car? Listen, of uh, which you speak. Listen, we'll talk about the Cubus later. We got to move on. That's right. Cubus? Wait, before we do Rahua. Yes. I know you're very beat up about Jeremy. I mean. N- not really. It, you it are, might not have been his. You mind. are incredibly emotional, but yeah, he's crying right now. This I, feels incredibly, as my friend would say, patronizing. But go on. No, no. Anyway, before Jeremy died, uh, well, after Jeremy died, I obtained his hat, and I don't know if Jeremy wanted anything on account of him being a crab free of all worldly desires, except for crab desires. But I figured you should have it to carry on his legacy. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Now, Rahua, I know you're very emotional about all of this. (laughs) Uh, Again, I reiterate, I do not really feel, but okay. Rahua, it's okay. I understand how you feel, or don't feel. Uh, Let's, let's suffocate our emotions together. And I'll hand Rahua the hat. (laughs) Rahua will put the hat on, (laughs) not knowing what to do. (laughs) You have, oh, what was the expression? You have a lot of demons, Tannhauser. Uh, Volley. Uh, real quick, before you depart that, uh, there was oh, an yeah. object up here as well. Were you looking at that? Oh, yes, I very much was. <laughs> Ten yeah. has her emotional projection moments. Yeah, so as they're having this lovely emotional moment, everyone is left volley, like, starts to leave, turns around, comes back. Um, you notice that, like, amongst the roots here are a pair of um, discarded bracers. Hmm. That sort of have like a, uh, like like kind of a little, sorry a bracelet I suppose, um, like a nice metal sheen. It looks out of place from the other items here. It kind of reflected off. It has almost like a a purple coloration to it. Oh, not really my aesthetic, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on, kind of examine it, admire it. Okay, it looks it looks super cool. Looks really high quality. Oh. Check it out. Somebody left the jewelry behind. Excellent. More fuel for our endeavors. It could pay a good bribe. Oh, it could, but I like how it looks on me. Wait. I think it looks quite nice. Oh, thank you, Rahua. You're my favorite. Oh. 
I went the wrong way. I thought that you were somewhere else. I got lost. I never thought I'd see you again. Well, that's okay, Tanny. Well, let's head up. Let's head upstairs, everyone. Wait, and, hold uh, on. We haven't finished exploring this place quite yet. That's Wait. true. There's a whole other alcove down there. That's right. Well, we have we so, so much to, to kill the best for. behind. Well, well, if you want to go down. All we saw was a weird green rock and some moss in a jar. Come on, there's got to be more. I'm really more concerned with getting out of this hole than anything else, but yeah. There may be well, an the way out way. wasn't the way we came. I mean, you've got you've been going down, like going in this area is going down. OK. All right. Um, my my good friend, Rahu, as you continue to explore, a few things are going on. First of all, um, as you reach this area, you see a chamber uh, that sort of expands outwards to uh, the west and the east. There is a large mural. Uh, that covers 15 feet of this wall going up almost 25 feet tall. It is a stylized display. Um, on on this display, what you what you see, and Oren, you see this, and Vali, you kind of come behind, and Tannhauser, you're sort of seeing it. Um, you see, um, essentially, is it, it's depicting a raging storm that is above a small field of homes and farms and there's little like stylized people who are huddled inside the buildings like you can kind of see like their heads in like carved windows and stuff looking up uh, and the storm is is raining down on them but the majority of the storm is going to the other like side of this mural where there is a castle with a king and the, the storm is just beating down incessantly on the castle um, what you also see is that from the storm are three riders um, and they seem to be riding like on the storm itself like riding lightning um, and each of them has like very distinct faces uh, they they all seem sort of elfin in nature and one of them appears to be Vali huh Vali hey look you got Fenar Uh. <laughs> 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 Why That's... are you on this very old and sunken mural? Uh, Baldrick, were you coming up as well? He was he was trying to, but then you paused the game. I had to pause the game just so they didn't keep friggin' running around uncontrolled. Okay. Um, I, I... I couldn't tell you why I'm... Huh. So as, as you like walk into the room, you can see a few other things as well. The hall here uh, that goes, like west to, to east uh, that is this chamber um, the ceiling here is much lower it's only about 15 feet tall and the the ceiling here is covered in dangling bone wind chimes um, the, the, the the ground here seems to have some areas that appear like, like really chilled and in fact you notice a, not a like uncomfortable chill but just a slight chill as you enter here um, or and you once again sort of see some of the, the symbols on the ground and on the murals and recognize that these this is like in homage to another one of the elemental powers in this came in this case um, Zashur or Papa Storm as he is known. Is there no specific story it's telling, or is this kind of like yeah, he's cool? Well, it's like his symbol on the ground. The mural is very much telling a like. A, a depiction of Papa Storm like raining down elemental fury on both the weak and the strong though the strong seem to be taking the brunt of, of the elemental damage uh, there's two side chambers like, like that are connected as part of this larger chamber here and here um which if you kind of like walk off and see they're, they're, they're semi-octagonal chambers but the ten foot centers of them have additional runes on them as well uh, and those runes display and Oren you would see this if I like, shift you over here don't worry uh, like you'd see like this is the rune for like strength mm -hmm. and then over on the other side you see the rune here for weakness on the ground okay <laughs> Sorry, I'm noting things down. It's like I I relay this to the party. 
Huh. Strength and weakness. I imagine we'd want to go to the strength side, right? But it's well, the strong that are being cast down. Or at least in a worse manner than the weak. That's true. Maybe we try both. No. Let us try the strong first and weather whatever retribution comes. Hmm. Anyone make anything in this mural? Can't say I do. I'm not a religious person. Sorry. Me neither. Yes. Can I, uh... Can I make a nature check at how long sylphs live? Uh, what the average lifespan of the yeah, species is. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I like now that you're like, what the fuck is going on here? Never ask a woman <laughs> her age. Yeah. True. Correct. How, that's why I'm not asking. I'm relying on my brain. <laughs> you who have lived all of three years. But technically, <laughs> I've always lived and always will live. Baby boy. Baby. Ooh, tiny baby. 16. Uh, sure as fuck not that long. Like, this place is way older than a sylph should live. Now, when you said it looked like Volley, did you mean, like, down like, to the outfit? Um, like... Or just... Like, close approximation. But the face is, like, the bo the body itself is dead on. Hmm. Volley? Uh-huh. I think that you are much older than it appears. Or that you hey. tumble through the corridors of time, and now you have fan art. I, I mean, one, rude. Never ask a lady her age. And I didn't know that, but now I do. Well, I'm glad we're learning this together. And two, it's probably just a coincidence. I mean, I'm flattered to see the legend of someone as uh, prolific as me, and I toss my hair a little, represented in this random shithole and outset, but Damn. you know. Damn. That answer is not satisfactory, Vali. Well, what do you want me to say? I want you to take us by the hand and help us understand why you are one of the riders on the storm. Well, I don't know, frankly. I would tell you if I did. Can we just move on? Yes, I suppose that's good enough for me. All right. Let's go press the strong button. Okay. Orn heads over to the room and steps on it. Okay. You may move <laughs> yourself there. I tried to, but there was collision. Okay, so as you step on it, there is like a moment where the, the rune begins to glow, like with a blue energy as you stand on it. <laughs> there I apologize, my like cat. She okay. cannot stop crying. Let me go put her in the living room. <laughs> Kitty. Honey, Poor Kitty. Can you stop? Right. And yeah, so, so you, Oren, you step on the rune, and the rune of strength begins to glow. Hey, someone else will stand the other one. I will stand on the weak rune. <laughs> and I'll go do that. Okay. This feels like a dangerous idea. What are the, the rest of you doing as Tannhauser is moving to there? Honestly, Baldrick has, like, no intent of getting involved in whatever is happening here, so he's just kind of, like, waiting and watching for something stupid to happen. Okay. Like... Cool. Uh, Volley Rua's and... Just standing. Oh, sorry, Rua. Yes. So, so Rua is just going to stand one. kind of in the middle here by the mural? Yeah, just I, again, because he's vexed as to things that don't add up. Okay. okay. And uh, Volley, so so um, Tannhauser is going to go stand on the other rune. The first one, like, radiated magical energy. Um, uh, what are you doing as this is... Uh, as, the, as, as this is happening. Baldrick's kind of staying back a, out of the way. Rahua's sort of like just standing in the middle of the room. Uh, what are you doing as this happens? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to kind of step back away from the mural, kind of between Rahua and Baldrick, and just kind okay. of 
just kind of shifty eyes looking around this place. A little okay. little uncomfortable now. Cool. Okay. Um could I get uh each of you to put your tokens into a combat state? Uh, you know, since you asked so nicely, I think I can make it happen. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, it says there's no active encounter. Here we go. I have no, set up be. an active encounter. There we go. Dr. Um, yeah, good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'll get you just all to roll perception here. This is all going to be perception based. Damnation. Oh, there we go. Damn. Okay, so that was. Let me just roll this up. Nice. Nice, I got a fucking huge 11. Cool. So the rolls, Oren uh, got a natural 20, Valley got a natural 20, but Oren got a 28 total, Valley got a 26 total, Tenhauser got a 22 total, Rahua got a 12 total, and Baldrick got 11 total. Okay, so this is what happens uh, as we begin this encounter. Um, as Tenhauser steps on the other glyph, a few things happen at once. First of all, um, a whipping gale fills the room. The wind sort of cycling along a path, um, going basically around the edges of the room, and everything becomes exceptionally cold very quickly. Um, along with that, um, the runes seem to like crackle with electrical energy. Um, and you can see that um, they they seem to be like yeah like just emitting this this this, this energy now, Baldric. As this happens, you you feel like a, a pressure wave in your in your ears briefly. As like I guess Rahua, you would also feel some kind of pressure wave nearby. Like like something happened to the air near you that isn't just the chill. The the bone chimes all begin to jingle and that gives off this like kind of like beautiful melody in the background of this like wishing gale um so Oren you get to go first as this happens what do you do well there's not much I can do at this point yeah okay so you're just gonna like sit and wait and kind of I'll have to delay my turn Okay, perfect. Uh, Vali, uh, you see all of this happening. It's getting awfully cold for you. Uh, what are what are you doing? Oh God, uh, all of this happening. Uh, uh, I'm just going to. Hmm, I should probably pick a side to go. Uh, Tanhauser is at the strength side, right? Uh, no, he's at the weak side. Oh, he's at the Orin's weak side. Okay, at the strength side. Yeah, weak. Um, I'll probably just move to go and support Oren. Okay. So, like, stand in the rune with him? Uh, just... <laughs> Jesus what? fucking Christ. Oh, oh no. Shit. <laughs> oh, no! What's going on? Hold oh, on. Systems go! Oh, no! <laughs> you Everyone to your dog on stage! Scramble Let's fighters! <laughs> we need a oh, no. Scramble lasers <laughs> activated! <laughs> I need a medic bag! Well, it's been an honor serving with you. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Missile launched. Speaker, what the hell is happening over there? I'm going to assume there's a, that's a fire alarm. Yeah. Are you guys in an apartment? Yeah. Is it in your house? Oh shit! The fucking whole building is getting hit with this fire alarm. Oh mm -hmm. no! Oh um, my god! We're gonna we're gonna probably have to investigate this real quick, just in case there's a fire. <laughs> yeah, look, you yeah. you know to go take care of that real quick. We'll, yeah. we'll wait like we'll wait a bit for any news because someone could have just pulled it or something. Yeah, so, uh, if go we be to safe. Evacuate, Please we'll, go be yeah, safe. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Um, Odoroshi's apartment, where Speaker D was visiting at the time, uh, their water main broke. Basically, because Texas has been going through a couple freezes and Texas just doesn't know how to handle cold. Um, basically, things have been exploding, water pipes have been exploding, and the apartment complex main uh, water pipe thing just erupted and burst and started flooding places. Odoroshi and Speaker are fine. The kitties are fine. Everything's fine. 
So no worries about them. We uh, made sure that we were able to be you know, responsive enough to help them if they needed it. So yeah, so no worries. They're good. And we greatly apologize for the ending of this episode. But we hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you guys on the next episode. If you want to know what the next one is, head over to narrativedeclaration.com. And we have a schedule section which will tell you the dates of the show and the times in which we stream. Along with on the Patreon on exactly how we distribute the videos. So with that, thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day.